the students in my class, Mama. And I want the school scholarship on top of it. Hey! Mama! <laughs> oh, Mama, you don't understand. Okay, let me make you understand this. When I say scholarship, you know what that means? Huh? It simply means that my mother here, <laughs> Mama, do not have to work herself to death to pay my school fees anymore. Because the school authority will pay for all my school fees, Mama. My God, I thank you. Oh, Jamalia, my daughter has made me proud. Mama, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, Mama. The God of four widows. My merciful Father, I thank you for answered prayers. My God, I remain grateful to you. Mama. I and my daughter, Jamalia, we continue to praise and worship you forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> My daughter Jamalia, we now complete our secondary school education. Yes, Mama. Without fear of being thrown out. Yes, Mama. Because yes. of school fees. Mama, exactly. Oh. Yes. Hey. Oh, Jada, bye, Mare. 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 Mama, good afternoon, Ma. I said, where is your mother? My mom is inside, Ma. I hope there's no problem. Ah, my best friend. You must have had the good news. What good news? I have come to collect my money. My best friend. But I promised you that at the end of this month, I will pay part of it. Part of your what? Do you have a job? Or do you intend to pay me from that your useless laboratory? Is that where you raise the money from? My best friend. How can you... Best friend or no best friend? Have I not tried? Eh? Give me back the money I gave you to pay your daughter's school fees. Give it to me. Hey, my best friend. You know how things has been for us since my husband passed away. Yes, I know. That's why I've been very helpful. But I want the money now, now. Hey, this is surprising you. You have been very kind to us. Please give me a little more time. I will pay back the money. Pay back with you. Where will you raise the money from? Eh? I said, I need my money now. Okay. Where do you intend to raise the money to pay me back? Tell the world now. Where will you get it from? Eh? I need my money now. Is it by sending your daughter to sleep with all the men? Jesus. God forbid. Choku, how can you say such a thing? You think you don't know how your daughter has been? Taking that first position. Eh? That she has been sleeping with all the male teachers in the school, including the old principal. Ah! Mama! What is ah? Mama, what? Do you want to tell me that you've been taking the first position by your male brilliance? Ah! Eh? Even the scholarship they gave you. Tell me, is it not to pay you back for your services you have rendered to you? Mama, me! Shoku! I will not stand here watch you speak to my daughter in that ugly manner. If you are upset that my daughter did better than yours, you simply say so. I don't care how you raise your daughter. All I want is my money. Give me my money that I lent you. Give me, is it by, what have I done wrong? And give me my money. Okay, look, if it means selling the only piece of land my late husband left behind, I will sell it and pay you back the money. Yes, mama. The earlier the better. The earlier, because if I come back here for this money again, eh, you won't like what I will do to you. And I don't care how you raise the money. I gave her money to pay your school fees. Go get my money. My money, give me my bag, my money. Mama. Papa. Mama. Papa. Mama, see, I swear to God, I did not sleep with any teacher. I did not sleep with anybody. You come first in class now. I know, I know. She's my best friend. I know how envious and jealous they can be. But what I have not been able to find out is this bitter rivalry between us. Mama, how, how can she say I, I went to sleep with my teacher to, to come first in class, Mama? Mama, this is not fair. This is not fair at all. This is not fair. This is not fair. Mama. 
the answer to your question is this. This is a silent war. Unoka is out to prove to you, even after her husband's death, even in abject poverty, that she is better than you. How dare you say that? Is it not obvious? Is it not? She took what you valued most of you. Even though she lost it later. Her daughter is doing better than yours with all the money that you have. What else do you want to hear? Maybe I shouldn't have left her house the way I did. I should have insisted on collecting my, my money. That wouldn't have solved it. No, 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 no. It will only lead to a fracas. And that would have attracted neighbors. What would have been their verdict? They will plead with me to give her more time to raise the money. Good. Good. Eh? They would have frowned at your actions. Eh? Bearing in mind that both of you are supposedly best friends. And that's not like giving me a bad name. I'm happy you, you, you understand it. I'm happy you know the answer. So what do I do? What? <sighs> Look for a permanent solution. We are Africans. What we do not lack in spite of everything is Wisdom. Wisdom. Wisdom to confront that which threatens our existence. Now tell me, what do you think is the permanent solution? Mm, now you come. I will tell you. Your existence is nothing without knowledge to acquire that. Which will threaten others to bow before you. It is called power. You are a wise man. Seek to see wisdom. Speak! I am threatened. And if I do nothing, I will be consumed by those who have gained from my generosity. It's a lie. It's well spoken. Those who provoke us into evil thoughts do not deserve good. Say it, and it shall be done according to your wish. I is the sea for all. I seek nothing but that which will make me above all my friends. Ha, Unoka. Unoka mocks me silently. She feels she's better than me. Hi. Abomination. Have no pity on people who do not wish you well. Mm -hmm. Gradually, that will summon the courage to Keep you silent forever. Will you permit that? I that see for all. That is why I am here. Her pompous daughter will never see the light of day again. Unoka. Unoka will suffer pain and agony until death takes her away. And happiness, happiness will elude her forever. Your wishes will be granted. Thank you. You hear me? Yes. Your problem is over. But listen to me very well. Yes. Consequences shall be yours. I don't care. I don't care about you. I don't care. Okay. Are you willing to offer your souls, eh? Why not? 
Of what use is my soul when it cannot fetch me happiness? Okay. So be it. So be it! Don't do that. You are granted. Thank you, as well. Your wishes are all granted. Thank you, as well. You are free from all your enemies. Thank you. Thank you. The governor has not been good to us, especially the new local government chairman. That's nice. That's very good. With Thai Kogi State, we'll completely be transformed. So, Priya, 
that's what we want. <laughs> wow. Huh? Stop, 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 wait. Reverse. I, I want to take a closer look at that girl. Come, come. She looks like someone I know. Oh, Jamalia. She's the one. Jamalia, oh, I've not seen her since junior secondary school days. I heard she became blind. She used to be my best friend. Who is there? Who is there? You want to buy a card? Well, if you like, don't say anything. But I, I know someone is there. Beats closer to me, I will smack you with this stick. Malia. Huh? Hmm? Oh, Jamalia. I think I know that voice. Even though it's been years, but I still remember this voice. Ele. It's me, best friend. It's me. Ele. Ele! 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 Ah! Oh my god! Ele is a lie! Ele! Wait! Ele, it's, it's you truly! It's you! It's yes! Me. The same facial structure! Me. But you added weight! Ele, you're not a big girl! Oh my god! You never change! You, your sense of humor is still intact! Where have you been? Where have you been? I've been away! I've been away. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. I, I, I heard you, you, you went to the big city to school. Yes, oh my yes, God. yes, yes. Yes, I went to the university. It's a lie. Ellie, you're not a graduate. Oh, yes, I am. No, 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 no. You're not a graduate. Yes. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. I'm so happy. This is the best thing that's happened to me. Ellie, I'm so happy to see you. I've really missed you. I've missed you. I've, I've missed you too. <sighs> I've missed you. You too. <laughs> What scent did you wear? You, you smell really, really good. What scent are you wearing? It's a perfume. It's a designer. Harris. <gasps> Who cares about the name? I've not even eaten food. Talk more of wearing scent. But I know I've really missed you, Ellie. I've missed you. Stop crying. It's for me. I've missed you. I've missed you. Oh my God. Good to have you back. Same here. I'm back now. You can have me all to yourself. My best friend. So if you want to see me, you have to come to my palace. Princess Enyo, I am on my way to my father's palace. If you want to see me, come there. <laughs> the last time you said that, you didn't turn up. Yeah, I thought I apologized. Apologize? Did you? I can't remember you calling me. Chibiyo, Ajara. Prince Arome called to apologize for taking me on a bumpy ride. No, my princess. I can't remember my princess. Um, well, those were my personal maidens and they cannot remember you calling me either. Um, all right. Bye. I... Did he just... Drop the call on me. She, she just called. She called. Oh. Oh no, 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 no. Why do I always forget to top up my phone? Now she's going to think I can't call on her. Where do I get credit? Where do I Oh, I see. 
see, I see. He's feeling very important. And he wants me to call back and apologize. Over my dead body. What is this I'm drinking? You refreshed time for it, my princess. Oh, did I? Well, it was a mistake. Get me half a glass of street vodka because I'm really angry right now. My princess, the king said we shouldn't give you alcoholic privileges because this is against our religion. What did you just say? I'm sorry, my princess. My friend, will you get inside and get me what I asked you to bring? All of people disobeying me. Oh, and what are you still doing here? Get away! Oh, God, everyone is just... What's wrong with you? Are you are you selling or not? Oh Jesus! What are you selling now? Are, are you blind? You don't know one thousand five card. Hurry up! You're wasting my time. Customer is always right. Yes, sir. Oh, I, I'm here. I'm here. Easy. I'm here. Sir, you sound like a nice man. I'm sorry I really wasted your time. Sir, I was trying to sort out the cards. I'm, I'm sorry I I'm sorry I sounded harsh. I, I didn't realize you are... That I'm blind. Is that right, Master? Six pounds. Alright, give me. Okay, the card, sir. Oh, Master, please, my money first. Okay. But if you perceive I'm a nice person, you should trust me. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Just that I've been a victim to so many people who took advantage of me. Right. Okay. There you go. Thank you, sir. Sir, please. Mm. 
Yes, sir. Thank you very much, Master. Farewell, sir. Please come again. Master, is everything all right? Uh, maybe, yes. Yeah, everything is all right. This is exactly what I need. Prince Aroma is calling back. You know why? Because I didn't call back like he expected I would. You know, when you treat men like they are God's gift to nature, they tend to misbehave. Ah, <sighs> Akka. I miss him so much. I wish he was here to make me happy. Father doesn't approve of him. Yet he has his own importance that no one else understands. what I saw and, and you're laughing. I don't get it. <laughs> My dear. <laughs> don't you know that there's no peace for the wicked? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Even their descendants for somebody to say, me! Are you focusing on what Jamali I'm talking about? My best friend. Her mom is also your best friend. I'm, I'm surprised you're sounding this way. I'm shocked. Listen to me. We did not send it to the university for you to be stupid. Have you forgotten what happened to them? Mommy, I remember what happened to them. And I also remember you prevented me from seeing them. Yes. And that remains that, that way. You must never see her again. No. Mommy, I was young and perhaps foolish. But there is no way, there is just no way I'm going to avoid my, my old friend. I can't. You just came back to this city after several years. If it is this foolishness you came back with, then I wouldn't hesitate to send you back to my brother's house in the big city. And remember, your father will soon come back. I don't want you to raise this issue if you want peace. You. It's been hectic, it's been work, work, and work. Is that why you don't call me as often as you usually do? But I just told you, it's really been hectic. You need to understand. I'm sorry. <laughs> God, mother can wait to see you. Okay, what's going on? There's been a lot of arguments about you lately. Arguments? Mm. 
Don't you know they argue a lot? Don't act like you don't know they argue all the time. Yeah, of course I know they argue, but why would you say they argue about me? It's kind of suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Now I see why they argue. Yeah. Uh-huh. Park my car down there and bring all the stuff in the truck, huh? Yes, ma'am. He doesn't want to call back. My princess, may I suggest something? Speak, if you must. I... I... Speak! Have you lost your tongue? I want to suggest, perhaps, you should call him. Say that again. Sorry, my princess, I wasn't thinking. Don't you ever, ever open your mouth to spell out rubbish if you're not thinking. Understood? Yes, my princess. And you, Chibiyo, what do you have to say? I knew it. You never have anything to say. Nothing, my princess. Just don't let me think about the one thing that I don't want to think about. And that is Prince Arume. on several locations to stop stressing yourself. I can't sit down in one place waiting for you to return each day. I have to be useful to myself. Mama. Mama, to be useful is to be alive for me. Huh? You have to be alive for me, Mama. To be alive, my daughter, is to continue struggling. Regardless of what fortune brought to us, you remain as stubborn as ever. Mama, you don't have legs. At the same time, you're terribly healed. Tell me, why won't you give yourself rest, Mama? Huh? You can't see. Yet, you do everything. More than those with full sight. <laughs> Mama, I know I don't have sight. But I still have my strength. And I'm here to take care of you. Eh? I may have no legs. Or strength to carry me. But I do have the will to continue being useful till death takes me away. God forbid, Mama. You will not die. You. My then... mother will not die. Ah, I'm here to take care of you, Mama. Okay? Mama, I love you so much. Huh? My dear, my daughter. Yes, I love you too. You're very happy today. What excites you? Mama. Guess what? A man, from all indications, someone very noble. He seeks after you. <laughs> Mama! <laughs> no! Eh? Mama, he bought not my heart. But do you know what? This man bought all my recharge cards. 6,000 naira worth of recharge. Eh? Mama, just one person. <laughs> Mama, now I see why you are happy. Mama, let me quickly go and change into something else, huh? So that I can quickly fetch you water. No, you wait now. You must rest before you go out. Mama, I must have to fetch water before night comes. Because there's no water in the house. Okay, be fast about it. Okay. Mama, should I give you a helping hand? No, thank you. Mama, are you sure? Send less china plates. I heard that you are back. I left everything I was doing and rushed straight here to see my daughter, whom I have not seen for many years. <laughs> Auntie, you're welcome. Thank you. Good afternoon. Inibi, how are you? Good afternoon, Auntie. 
Is this all I get from you? Okay, and give me a big hug if I turn you into a frog. Silly. Yellow five K. Yes, she better than She has gone over over me. Chu, who are you calling? Is it not the girl with you? Eh? She, she, can you imagine? She, she feels she has grown over and above me. Ella, no, Ella cannot say such a thing. Ella, are you being rude to your mother? No, auntie, I'm not. Can you imagine? My daughter came back to pull her with me. Just because I told her that I wouldn't want her to have anything to do with uh, or Jamalia or her evil mother. No, she wouldn't say such a thing. Did you? Auntie Wede. Must I quarrel with Malia because my mother doesn't like her mother anymore? Must I? Hmm. Where did you hear that? Iniqui? Yes, ma. Is that the way you, 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 you talk to your mother? No, ma. Did you hear the way she's talking to me? Are you, are you sure she, she's, she's my daughter? My own flesh and blood. Listen, listen. I, I, there's a misunderstanding here. Ellen, don't you realize that Onoka, or Jamalia's mother, wanted your mother dead? Tell her. Tell her the truth. Tell her. See, what befell Onoka and her daughter is out of her wickedness. Her evil deeds. She, she did everything possible to discredit you and praise her own daughter. Everyone in this town knows that whatever Onoka and her daughter are suffering is based on the atrocities she committed. <laughs> is this why I should see my childhood friend who is now blind? Who is blind and I can't talk to her or even show pity? Is that why? Aren't you better? It was when I was young and foolish that I could be easily confused about such matters. But now it is not possible. I cannot be enemies with Malia for any reason. I can't. You're still showing that you're still young and foolish. If you don't want to understand what you and I'm asking about, go, 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 I don't know what it is that they gave to my daughter in the city that has turned her head. Oh, I don't Are know. you talking about what they have given to your daughter or what has been sent from this town? How do you mean? Oh, Umoka, in her condition, <laughs> is capable of doing anything. No matter what her condition is now, she can do anything to show you that she still remains. That, 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 that would mean her death. Because I am going to squeeze that her miserable and useless life out of her yes. with my bare hands. Bring her neck. I will squeeze her life Don't out. Don't your head, let's chicken.
happened? What is this? Ele, is this you? Be true. What is this? Ellen, my daughter. It's a very long story. Very long story. Ah, my daughter. A strange ailment before us. Mama. Mama, I had no idea. I didn't know. I didn't know. I only heard. I heard you were ill and Amalia. Amalia got blind. I don't know. And I, I, I didn't know it was like this. I didn't know. Well, you can see for yourself. Mama, where are you going to? I haven't seen Ojamalia since she went out to fetch water. <laughs> since when? This evening. <laughs> Mama, are you saying that she still goes to fetch water in her state? We have no one to help us. I can't go out crawling. And Ojamalia will not allow me. <laughs> Mama, are you saying the one in this entire village that can volunteer to help you? <laughs> Well, your mother, for reasons I still do not know, make sure that that cannot be possible. How? By spreading that we are evil. That is preposterous! How? I thought you were best friends. So I thought, uh, till it became obvious. After this strange ailment befall us. <laughs> oh my it's alright. <laughs> where, where, where could Mali have gone to fetch with that? It's, it's getting very late now. I'm getting worried and concerned. But Jamalia has not stayed out this late. Don't worry, she will come back. She will come back soon. Okay. I pray. Let her be back. Hey. Relax, relax, Malia. Relax. Who are you? Huh? A friend. What are you doing far away from home by this time? Please, who are you? Who am I talking with? Okay, okay, huh? wait. My name is Ame. You might not know me. Did you say Ame? Are you Chide's brother? This is amazing. How did you know? Well, I know I have a retentive memory. I can recognize voices. Though it's been long since my sister got married, I've not been home. Well, now tell me, what are you doing in this bush by this time? I, I think I lost my way. So you've been in this bush all this while? Yes. Some boys were after me when I went to fetch water for my mother. I ran into the bush and I've been since then wandering about. This is unfair. Who wants to have an innocent blind girl? Ame, could you please help me home? Why not? Certainly. Why not? Thank you. Come in. Princess, dinner is ready. 
I am not hungry. Princess, is everything all right? May I ask if Prince Arume has called you? No, he hasn't. And I don't even care. I don't care. I think he just underestimates me. He had better find out who I am because I am not going to descend to that level which he wants me to. Princess, may I suggest you find out why he hasn't called first? That, you'll be cheapening myself, which is exactly what he wants me to do. Even for the fact that his mother has been bothering me to be patient with him. I would have forgotten him long ago. He's just too arrogant, too full of himself. <sighs> I said I am not hungry, just go away. Everyone is so dumb. Mama, if not for Ame, God knows I still would have been wandering about in the bush by now. Eh? And you'll be here worried sick about me. What have we done? Why are we going through all this hardship? But why? Why? Mama. It breaks my heart to hear you sounding like this. But God is watching. There is nothing beyond Him. Absolutely nothing. This is very unfortunate. But now that I'm back home, I'll come and visit you people often. Merci. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Amen. Amen. My God will continuously bless you. God bless you. Amen. Uh, Ma, I'll be on my way now. Your mother will be worried sick about you by now. I'm surprised. She allowed you to visit us. I'm no longer a child. I guess I'll help you do some things before I go home. For me now, because what trouble? Uh, let, let me enjoy my rice. Ah, well, father, the father uh, is suspecting that uh, we had a fight and he's insisting on uh, that. Woman, why are you being evasive about my daughter's whereabouts? No, uh, she, she said she came back and said, I forgot. It's just this rice is so sweet, so delicious. What about the rice? Um, You have forgotten that Ellen went to my house to see my children. Oh, I have forgotten. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ellen was, she was so excited to go and see oh. the best children. Oh. I'm sorry. I forgot. That long. Why didn't you say so? Hi. Look at the time. It is getting late. Daddy! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My one and only sweet and adorable daughter. <laughs> Daddy, I missed you. So did I. Daddy. Look at you. You've turned into a woman. <laughs> and I'm so proud of her. <laughs> Soon, we'll all be gathering in joy. When her prince charming will come to take her away with a galloping horse. And then the galloping winning 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 Yes. You're welcome, my daughter. Thank you, Daddy. You look good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah. How um where is uh, kids who went to visit? 
And to where these children? Mm -hmm. You said they wanted to go and see them. Uh, okay, yes, they're fine. They're all grown up now and they're looking up for fame. <laughs> <laughs> well, that should be true because their mother loves food. <laughs> uh, yes, and she only comes to our house to eat while she leaves her children at home. <laughs> yes. Come, 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 come. You've not lost your sharp tongue yet. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got it from her. This is I'm not happy. Oh, thank God. Hi. I'm not happy. Don't oh. ask me that Why? Something has to be done. I mean, what does she mean? Did you hear her? She's going to be happy of me. Is it because I want to eat in your house? I can't so stay in my house. So all this advice I give, give to you is she. It's not me. It's because of you. Okay. So let me. Her mother's blood runs in her. Uh, stop that attitude at once. Before people will begin to murmur things, show a little concern. Conceal your hatred from the public. I hate everything that came from Monoka. I know. But for your daughter's sake, don't make her dislike you, which she is bound to do, because she is headstrong. Yeah, by all means necessary. Eh? What is the excitement about a child? I'm just a friend. I don't know. At 
last. I thought he wouldn't come. And what brings the proud prince to my palace? To search for that which his heart seeks. Really? Yes, really. And what would that be? You, my lovely princess. You that has made it mandatory that my heart remain in torture. <laughs> you have proven yourself a gentleman after all. Come here. <laughs> So how are you? Very well. I only missed you. Oh, you didn't tell me. Well, you didn't ask. You were too busy trying to build empires at the detriment of how I feel. Uh, I'm only trying to be comfortable so that I can afford the good things that you deserve. Why do you have to work so hard when your father is so wealthy? Mm, my father, you said. He did not acquire all that wealth by being lazy. That is why he worked so hard, so you wouldn't have to work or be poor. And what will be my pride if I could not continue in that tradition and he would acquire more than he did? You were so amazing. You're the opposite of everything I want in life. Yet I can't help but fall in love with you every day. You do? Of course I do, even though I may not show it. <laughs> well, thank you for letting me know. <laughs> Come here. Yeah, you know what? We need privacy. I've missed you so much, so let's go in. <laughs> Why are you staring at me? As if I am some kind of specimen under close observation. You suggested we move over to your private chambers. Now we're here. You've not said anything. When a woman is too forward, she stemmed wayward. When a woman is too quiet, she stemmed foolish. Well, my dear Prince, since you haven't taken the lead like I expected, I will play the role of a man. What exactly do you want? You. You have me already. It's long been decided, even before we met, which left us with no choice. Why don't you just cut off all this rubbish and make love to me? Oh, Jesus, now this, that is absurd. What? To start with, I think it is highly disrespectful for me to walk into your chambers and sleep with you. Disrespectful? Yes. <laughs> You're kidding me. You are a lady. Yes, your lady. And we are going to be getting married for crying out loud. Fine. But we are not married yet. Besides, not here, not right in your chambers, in your father's palace. No. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I didn't think I was going to listen to this dumb excuse again. The last time I visited you in the city, you made several excuses not to sleep now, with me. Now, those were not excuses. I was ill, remember? You know that. That was why you visited. But your health condition did not stop you from going to work. Of course. I have to work. I had an important meeting I could not avoid. I have to work. Prince Aramir, why don't you just tell me something else? Say something else. Hold on. Are you sure? You are a real man? Are you suggesting I am gay? 
Vicky. How dare you? Prove it to me. Make love to me right now. Because I am not ready to commit my future to a man who is sick or a man who is impotent. Jeez, oh, listen. I think at this point, I suggest we quietly go downstairs and discuss like civilized people. I'd rather marry an uncivilized man than a man who will be useless to me in bed. Oh, I suggest you watch your utterances. Or what will happen? I'm asking you, what will you do? Perhaps I should take my leave. What are you waiting for? What? Hello. What is it? Daddy, I'm so unhappy. Are you? What's the problem? Why are you like this? Come. <laughs> Daddy, What's are you? bothering you? Daddy, everything is wrong. <laughs> What's the problem? Daddy, how, how could you allow mother to leave her best friend to suffer till death? How? You speak of Unoka? Yes. Well, your mother said um, she was a witch. But if you ask me truly, I don't see anything wrong with her. Except the strange ailment that befell her and her daughter. That he just said strange. Isn't it obvious that, that it's not normal? Yes, I, I agree with you. It is not normal. Well, get up, get up, get up. No, That's not no, why no. you should be squatting before me. Please no, get up. No, Daddy, I'm not going to stand up from here until someone tells me. Oh, Such sort of hatred can exist between best friends. Daddy, how? Well, we can still do something about it. We can still help them. How? By showing them love and care. Isn't that what you want? Yeah. How do you intend to do that? Is it now that she's dead? What? Is Unoka dead? I'm just coming from the hospital where, where her corpse lies and her daughter is, is on admission. God, God, this is a shocking news indeed. This is very shocking. Daddy, you had no reason to believe my mother. You, you just were not concerned. If, if you had shown just a little care, maybe that woman would have been alive today. <sighs> well, Ella, your mother said she was a witch. And within a short period, something bad and evil befell her. I, I, I think I should believe your mother. Huh? Daddy, I'm so, I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed in you. Ella, come back. Where are you going? Mother. Mother, I don't believe you just said this. Yes, I did. I'm disappointed in you. Now you listen to me. You go out there and set with Princess Ayo, or else. There will be no peace in this palace between you and I. You know what I'm saying, don't you? I don't believe this one. Did Mother just say that? Does she want me to marry a lady who is distrustful, disrespectful, has no regards, no manners, no, no respect? Huh? Look, there is a limit I can have, Mother's bullying. I have had it up to here. Okay, no, 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 no way. No, I'm done, no. Huh? 
Arame, please. You're not doing this for mother, but for father. Do you want him to die knowing that the, the throne will leave his ancestral place just because the prince couldn't find a wife? Ah, uh, you see? Now that is the problem. Who says I couldn't get a wife when, when a tart is being forced into my hands? You don't say that of a woman who you're willing to give a chance to. What chance? Tell me, what other chance? Listen, you know a well-bred woman from the first date. The first date. Now I have known Enyo for over two years now and all I see is a bad actor in a play. That's all. <sighs> You know why? No. Because she is so busy. So busy trying to play herself instead of the character in the play. See, all women and actors, you know, some play themselves, some play other characters. You see, the, the decision belongs to the man. What character do you want your woman to play? Oh, thank you. Thank you, my dear sister. Thank you. You see, I want a decent woman. A respectable woman. And a woman who will fit into the empire that I am trying to build and not one who will come in and destroy it. No! Fine. Then be the director of the play. Turn this woman into the character you want her to be. Turn Princess Enya into the character you will be proud of. Oh, my dear sister, a good actor is born, not made. That's not true. You see, all good actors are not successful, but the made ones. You know why? Because they fit into the demands of the audience. Princess Enyo fits into what mother and father want. That make her into a woman you'll be proud of. Arome, you are my brother and I love you. I want you to be happy. But I also want you to be the next king. Please. Every day by day by day by Every day by day by day by Every day by day by day by It will be unwise eh? For you to become stubborn And argue with your husband Your daughter has bought his heart at the detriment of my own happiness. Listen, do not help rebuild a building that is already fallen. What life does Oja Malia have? She will soon go like her mother. I hate to render help to the daughter of my sworn enemy. Eh? What kind of help will you be giving? Instead, you'll be, you'll be walking her in silence. Yes, there will be peace, there will be happiness in your home. Just go in there, eh? tell them that you are willing to be of help to your late friend's daughter. Ombade, I am suspicious of the kind of help they want me to render. What kind of help would they want you to, to, to give to her except to give her some money to take care of herself and allow her to be friends with your daughter? Who is even better than her and will remain better than her, unlike her late, stupid, and useless mother? You have the answers already. Why ask further questions? Okay. I will do as you said. Uh, good now. Uh, so let me be good. Uh, before you know, your husband will now start wondering what's been keeping you outside for so long. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to remain the best friend ever. <laughs> we are more than friends, we are sisters. Yes, we are. <laughs> um, I was going to ask you to lend me a 
a little money. We have nothing in the house. How many times have I wanted to stop using that word, lend? Eh? What kind of a sister will I be if, if I don't take care of you at the body? It's ready for me. Yes, I wanted to give it to you before you asked. Yeah. God bless you, my Thank you. You know when to help a friend even before she asks. Of course, yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. This will go a long way. We'll see you later, eh? Take care of yourself. Thank you. Bye bye. Uh, you did well. Hey. I don't believe the princess is in love with Prince Arume. <laughs> How can you say that when it is very apparent that she is dying to be touched by him? See this one? It could just be lost or nothing. Princess <laughs> Enyo <laughs> is not capable of loving any man. She's too arrogant. She's way too arrogant. That is the word, arrogant. But I can assure you that she is in love with Prince Arome. My dear, no woman that is in love with a man would disrespect him or treat him the way she does. She's just too domineering. Is it not obvious? That is why Prince Arome is not tolerating her. You all underestimate the princess. She knows when she crosses the paths. Therefore, we find a way to amend things. Wait. Did you see Prince Arome's eyes when he left? He's not coming back, I assure you that. That's if he doesn't have a choice. What were you talking about? Princess, um, the guards, they were actually arguing among themselves of um, the cost of Prince Arome's car. Oh, I see. The poor always marvel at the toys the rich acquire. It's understandable. You know, it makes their day and fulfills their fantasy. What about me? I have everything I want, yet I can't fulfill my fantasy. My princess, it could be a matter of choice. Yes. And my choice is Prince Arume. Yet, it's... In that case, my princess, I, I think something is overriding your true sense of choice. We are so different, yet meant to be together. Soon mom and dad will return from their trip and there will be no resting place for me again in this palace. I'm inside. I am here now. I'm willing to do whatever you want me to do. Is that a promise? Have I ever turned my back on whatever I said I was going to do? Oh, that is nice. Um, our daughter, what is it you want us to do for your friend? Daddy, Malia will soon be discharged from the hospital. I should be going back to an empty house with no one to take care of her. I just want her to move in with us, at least for the meantime. But she has been managing in that house all in for so many years. You promised. Uh, I can actually help in so many ways, but not to harbor her. Uh, Chogu, the situation is different now. If her mother was alive, she will have a companion. No, I don't know how I can cope with a blind girl hovering around the whole house. If you don't want her here, I have a better suggestion. Uh, which is? I can move in with her. In her house. That is likely not to happen. Not when I'm still alive. Then she has to move in here with us. At least that is what people will expect you to do 
at least for her, let mother sick. I won't take that. Is there any reason why you dislike Malia so much? Other than her, you suspect her mother to be a witch? If her mother was evil, is there any reason why she would be different? No, nothing. But we won't get to know unless we give her a chance. that your mother was being hard on you. But you must understand why it is so. I think I do. In whatever decision you arrive at, remember I am in support. But you must hasten to make things right because I am feeling weak more and more by the day. Make me happy before I pass on to join my ancestors. I will do that, Father. But um, if you ask me, Father, I think you don't have anything to worry about. Doctors get it wrong sometimes. <laughs> I think, Father, that you will see your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren. Amen. That is every parent's prayers. <laughs> when you return, I want you to find time to see the governor. This is a letter of introduction from me. I heard from a reliable source that contracts for new projects have been awarded. And you know the state government owes me a lot of money. And I hope they will favor my son. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Yes. May God be with you as you return. And please, remember to keep in touch. I will, Father. Yeah. Needless asking you if you did settle your little differences with Enyo. Because I know you do the right thing. Oh, thank you for believing in me, Father. That's my son. I'll head the road now. <clears throat> okay. Johnny Messi, as you go. Thank you. Goodbye. I didn't. Why? Enya owes me an apology, and until she does that and promises to be of good behavior, I will not communicate with her again. She is a woman. And I'm a man. Alright, she'll come. Until then. Arme, are you sure you're not keeping another woman in the city like Mother Suspense? You are my sister. You should know better. I'm not too sure about that anymore. The only thing I'm sure of is that you love me and I love you too. That's all. Well, well little sister. Don't call me that. Okay. Sweet sister. Better. I am still the brother you used to know. Just that... I am frustrated that mother wants to live my life for me. You know mother loves you very much. And she wants the best for you. I know. And I love her too. I have to go now. Okay. I have to go now. Okay. Alright. I love you. I love you too. <laughs>
in this thing, she's dead. Recognize royalty, Your Majesty. Wow, that's uh, that's quite amazing. Cause usually I don't advertise myself. <laughs> What's your name? Achille, Your Majesty. Achille. Okay, nice to meet you. I, I should shake you. Yes, shake me. No, I won't. Why? I'm nobody. Oh, come on, don't say that. Of course you are somebody, created by the same God who created me. And you have a place in this community because you have a role to play in building it. Hmm? Good, so shake me. <laughs> How are you? Fine, <laughs> sir. Um, I, uh, I'm looking for a certain blind girl who sells Richard cards here. Oh, yeah, that would be Malia. She hasn't been coming recently. Uh, why? She lost her mother, who is a cripple. Oh. Uh. Whoa, that's, uh, that's sad. Uh, but sir, if it is recharge card you want for your phone, I can go and get it somewhere else. Uh, don't, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, think of it. Did you just say her mother was a cripple? Yes. And they are strange. Okay, what do you mean strange? Uh, I don't really know, sir, but but they they live an isolated life. All right, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Hmm? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Achille, Achille. I got it. Bye, bye. Please. Have a nice day. Thank you.
know I enjoy our company together. Why don't we do this often? Certainly. It's something we have to work on if we have to live together. I wasn't saying it based on that. Mm. It's obvious your brother doesn't like me, irrespective of what I do to impress him. Impress him? You see, that is what I consider to be the problem. You have no reason to impress my brother. Strange. That's really strange. So how does one win the heart of a man who has no interest in her? He has interest in you. He does. I seriously doubt it. He's just forcing himself on me because it is demanded of him. Well, I'd rather see it as a matter of differences, which can easily be sorted out if the both of you are ready to bend and let go of your pride. There are things I must not do, as a woman. <laughs> but I have done them to win his trust and his belief in me. Same thing I am saying. You see, those things you do are not necessary. They might just be the same things he dislikes about you. All right. OK. I'll just relax and be your friend. If it works out, fine. If it doesn't work out, fine. Good. That is the beauty of life. Be free. Be merry. See, you never can tell. You could just win a heart that longs desperately for love. <laughs> How old did you say you were again? Well, old enough to know that both of you need each other. <laughs> I like you. I like you too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get it to you. <laughs> Come on, man. Get it to you. Trip? Oh, my trip. My trip was uh, good. That means uh, you and your betrothed has reached some kind of a code, right? Well, being at peace with any of you, the only thing that will give me happiness. Oh? Well, pleasing the king has been your major concern lately. Well, my dear friend, there are more important things in life than just pleasing a woman or winning a woman's heart, trust me. Mm -mm. Hang on. My dear friends, join me in making a toast. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Aha! Cheers. Oops. Ah. Ah. What? What are we drinking to? I'm surprised, equally. So baffled. I'll tell you, first to life. Okay. Any day you wake up, you see a bright new day, you give thanks to God Almighty. Sure. Second, to a huge, huge project that will be coming our way very soon. Oh, cheers, sir. I got sent to start doing one project. It's uh, all about. That's right. <laughs> My dear friends, I have a proposal to make. You see those. Huge, fancy projects we have that need the governor's attention. Uh -huh. mm. Bring them all to me. I promise you, I will make him pay attention. Oh, come on. Is he not the same reason why I started dating his daughter? Yet he hasn't responded to our proposal. Oh, no, 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 no. This, this is different. This is very different. This is a direct, express demand from my father, the king, demanding that his son being my humble self, be given the quota agreed upon between them when the governor was seeking election. Will he honor it? Oh, no, of course. Politicians are crafty, remember? Yes, I know, but, but at this point, he has no choice. 
Re-election is by the corner. Trust me, he has no choice. Look at this. This letter right here. This letter is well timed. Well timed. And just like my father, he knows when to disarm his opponents. Yeah! Now man, I'm attacking. It does what's over with. Yeah. You see, it is very sad that with our wonderful ideas, the state government has refused to approve it because of our, I mean, for political reasons. Yeah, yeah, of course. But I think at this point, they have no choice. Because with this, we have something we can use to penetrate the governor. And in the end, you all smile. Wow. <laughs> all right. Have a good one. All the best. 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 All the This is nice. Oh my god, it comes in here. Ha! Come. Oh my god. Ili, this is not so much already. I told you I already have so many clothes. I'm very fashionable. You know. I know, I know. Eh? And this clothes really looks expensive. And they must be really expensive. They are expensive. But you deserve every piece of it. You know you're still my best friend, right? Oh my god. I'm so excited. Thank you very much. <laughs> Lily, but don't you think you've done more than enough already, huh? Not too much for me now. This is too much now. Listen, that is what friends are for. Hmm? Wait, you try to. Hmm? What? Yes. <laughs> Give me a couple words. Come, 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 come. Sit down. Oh my god. Why should I walk with the shoes? Of course. Yes. These are high heels though. <laughs> no way, no way. They <laughs> like hands. Come on. These are high heels though. Ili, <laughs> I've not used this before in my life. I know, but you just have to start sometime, okay? okay. I know. Just try it again. <laughs> I don't think I'll be comfortable in these shoes, huh? You will. Can you try? Try, try, try. try. Come on. Ah! No way, no way, no way, no way. <laughs> okay, I okay. think I'll just, I'll just be fine with my steel pants. I think. It's okay. Be fine. Wait, wait, wait. Be fine. I lost some things. Uh, uh. Oh my gosh, Larry. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get you some flat shoes. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I love everything, I just love them. Thank you very much. Mommy? I don't know what I'll say. Good evening, Ma. Good evening, Mommy. Ele? Yes, Mommy. <laughs> Lily. Lily. I don't know what's wrong with my mom. Can I ask you a question? Go on. Are you sure your mom broke all my stay in this house? Yes, she does. And most of all, my father supports it. Okay? So just sit down. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Thank you, thank you so much. Oh my god. Why did I say your friend should be sleeping? You said with the house helps. Why has she moved in there? I mean, that place is not conducive for her. Job woman, you don't have to dictate to me how to run my home. Wait until you get your own husband. When you move in with him, then you can do whatever you want. Mommy, this is my father's house. And my house. So tell your friend to move in with the servant. 
She's staying with me. Have you grown too big now to obey me? No, mommy. But I don't see her moving in with the house helps. What she needs right now is love and care. God. What's she doing with your clothes? I gave them to her. You did what? They are my clothes. As I speak with you now, go there and collect everything you have given to her. That's exactly how I, I help her mother. Only for, for her to turn back and betray me. No, 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 mommy. I don't know why you dislike Malia. And I don't even know what her mother has done to you. But I cannot go and collect the clothes I've given her back. It's not right, it's just not right. Um, is everything all right? So, ma'am, what did daughter talk? Oh, um, I was actually looking for you too. Oh, please, would you remember where I kept my reading glasses? <laughs> you, you are so forgetful. <laughs> uh, I put it in the bedside drawer. Oh, thank you. Ellie, I hope all is well. Yes, ma'am. And uh, how is uh, Jamalia? Has she gone to bed? No, Daddy. We were talking before Mommy called me to... To do what? Mother to daughter talk. Ah, I see. That's okay. Ellie, good night. Mommy, can I go to my room now? On the Jamalia. She stays with me. expect me to start sounding differently. You are sounding different and you know it. Maybe because I've been very busy. Now you are sounding as if I am a nuisance. You just did. Did what? You created the impression of being a nuisance, not me. Um, maybe I'll just leave you now. You can call me back when you're in a better frame of mind. You can tell me how much you miss me. All right, I will. I shouldn't have called. I just made a fool of myself. Hello, pretty. What you mean? I am not happy. What is it? I told you that your brother is a very difficult man. Now, don't tell me you had no good conversation with him. Well, I'm sorry about that. No need, no need. Because I will never call him again until he proves that he's willing to take me and treat me like a woman. You are yelling. Well, that's because I'm angry and frustrated. I know. I'm sorry, okay? Don't worry, I know what to do. As long as you wouldn't need me to participate in it. No problem. Oh, Joe, I eat. 
I was searching for you inside. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Good morning, sir. Why are you sitting outside here alone? Uh, sir, I just came to, to... I know, I know. To think about your life and future, I pray. I know how you feel. Hmm? Life has been unfair to you. But, like you rightly pointed out, there is this battle for you to succeed and become somebody great in life. Alright? Now, what would you want to do? Sir, I, I just wish I could start up my recharge card business again. You know my mom's burial took all that I had. Uh, well, I don't see how that should be a problem. This is your home now. And I want you to feel free. Alright? Whatever you need, whatever, let me know. Do you hear? Thank you, sir. I am going out now. And um, when I come back in the evening, I will make money available for your business. Sir, thank you, sir. Uh, uh, thank Mali. you very much, sit, sir. Sit, sit, sit. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Who is there? Is there no possibility for one to take you on our way? Ame? Ame? It's you, Ame, right? Huh? Yeah. Ah, Ame! Ah, Ame, it's you! Abi, where have you been? Huh? How are you? Ah, ma. Good afternoon, ma. What are you doing here? Ma, ma I, I... I am not interested in what you are doing, but what you are not doing. Ah, ma. Is there anything I've done wrong, ma? I'll tell you. Since you are foolish enough not to know what you have done wrong. Ma, ma, then you tell me, please, if there's anything I'm not doing right, I'm ready to, to learn and take correction, ma, and I'll make them right, ma. Fine. Don't tell me. When your mother was still alive, who used to go to the market to buy food stuff? It's me, ma. Who used to fetch water and do other house chores? Me, ma. And since you came here, you think you can now become a madam? No, ma. Ma, that's not correct. Because I, I asked Ele if I can help in the, in the house chores. And she said there are people here to, to tend to the chores, ma. And with that, you think you can just wake up, eat your food, take your bath, then sit down with your men. In truth, nothing would kill me faster than, than not being busy, ma. Then get busy! Get busy! If you want to die, certainly not in this house. And you, listen to me. If you have paid her visits when her mother was still alive, I will not tolerate that in my own house. You leave. 
Yes, ma. Ma. I'm sorry, ma. I'm, 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 I'm really sorry. Princess Enyo. Princess Ojime. <laughs> the princess with the captivating eyes <laughs> that makes every brave heart to start her. I'm obliged. <laughs> Welcome to my palace. I am most pleased. You know, it gladdens my heart to visit, knowing that in the nearest future, I would be part of this great palace. You are already part of the palace. You know, I should say, welcome home, Princess Enyo. That was just fantasy. <laughs> because the reality is, I have stopped being romantic. Your brother killed all those moments when I used to indulge in such pleasures. Enyo. A life without dreams and fantasies is like a life without adventures and challenges. That is such a dull life full of anguish and unhappy moments. No one wants that. You see, my brother is your challenge. And you can only accomplish it with a sense of adventure. Perhaps my interest is being aroused again. That would be a pleasure. Mm. All right then, I accept this challenge with a sense of adventure. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how are you? I'm fine. Every day by day by day by day. Every day by day by day by day Every day by day by day by day Every day by day by day by day I wanna be your dear on the house I said I wanna be your dear on the house I can see you're enjoying your food I walked in here and you didn't even notice my presence hmm. It's not just the food it's life's burdens. Huh. And those life burdens are supposed to be a part of who you are. And they're supposed to make you, you know, like, work hard. That's true. Please, where's my mother? She's inside. M Mommy, please, where is Malia? Mm, she should be somewhere. Every day, 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 every Ellie went to visit Chief Mamona son. The one that just came back from America. Really? <laughs> I hope something good is going to come out of this. <laughs> Mommy, please, where is Malia? She must be busy helping herself out with something. I just finished eating. I merely asked. I didn't even want you to. It's not enough for me. <laughs> Who's there? Who's there? Who's 
Eli, I know it's you. I can feel your presence. Are you all right? Eli? Malia, what are you doing? I'm washing. And don't even ask me why, okay? Because I'm enjoying every bit of this. This keeps my mind from wandering. You cannot be enjoying every bit of this. This is punishment. Because people are paid to do what you're doing right now. Ele! Ele! Ele, please come back. Don't do anything foolish. Please come. Ele, come back. Eli, God bless your father, because nothing will give me more joy other than to start my business all over again. Wow, <laughs> Eli, yeah. I have lost a lot of customers. I can feel it. Don't worry, I'll get your customers back the moment they move back. Huh? Amen. I just pray so. <laughs> I pray so. Like everywhere is so dry. Don't worry, it's just a normal thing. After a while, they won't come back. I hope they know I'm back. Ah, uh, Malia. Ah, actually. Ah, Sister Malia, we missed you. Especially your sweet voice when you sing. I really missed you too. And how are your parents actually? Well, everybody's fine. Um, this is my best friend, Eli. I now live with her parents since I lost my mom. Sister, you're welcome. Thank you. Hi. Oh, I almost forgot. What? Prince Arome came to look for you. Me? Prince Arome? Prince Arome. <laughs> Malia, you're wicked. Could you not tell me that you know him? But I don't know any Prince Arome. Uh, but he asks of you. I even offered to buy him a charge card from another place, thinking that was what you wanted. But it was you he came to see. Do you know I can do anything to meet him? Anything. But I have never met any Prince Arome in my whole life. I don't know anyone called Prince Arome. So I don't know what he's talking about. Are you Prince sure? Arome. Of course I'm sure. I've never met anybody called Prince Arome before. Okay. I'll believe you. You're my best friend, aren't you? Of course I am. <laughs> Please, where is my bench? No, let me get your bench. Just stay here. Uh, yeah, cool. My... I hope there's no problem, my daughter. I've been trying to reach a friend on the phone, but the lines are not going through. Why don't you try the CDMA phone? I've done that already. That one is not working too. We need to call the phone company because nothing seems to be working around here. Not tonight. Uh, until tomorrow. Okay? I know. Oh. No, I'll just keep trying with my phone. You know, maybe network will get clear. That's the only option. Mother. Please, can I use your phone? Yes, madam. You don't make no receive calls at night, right? No, I don't. Good. Please, can I borrow your phone? Sure, sure. Thank you. Oh, let's just shoot Good night, father. Good night, dear. I'll see you in the computer. Good night. Good night. With all our phones. That's my princess. Well, that's the way we are. <laughs> um, 
me. Yes, there's a problem. Uh, father. Uh, let's just say his, his health is failing him. No. I, I don't know. He, he just keeps saying, uh, tell Arome to, to marry Princess Enya before I join my ancestors. I, I don't understand. Okay, it's bad. Oh, very bad. Can you just speak to me at once? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, you need to come home first thing in the morning. Eh? I have to go now. I have to be by his side. Please, or later. Prince Arame, I know you want to talk to your mother, but just come home. You need to come home and stop placing calls. visited the palace. Same jovial self. Although he would have been down but not sure it. Um okay first thing tomorrow morning I'll leave to the palace. Gaba you do Gaba you do Who I cut in your body my ledger Nadu who I cut in your body, my ledger. E bakomi no komisha. E bojo kuna do kele wen baba. Todo a shete anyi mi kuna nyi. E makomi do rida ti do eta. O do e koma shala. <laughs> Malia, Ele, <laughs> your senses are too sharp. I told you it won't work. Not with Malia. Inikbi, do you know we're actually trying to sneak up on you? Are you serious? You know, since I can't see, all I have left are my ears. Huh? Besides, I have to protect my cards and my money. Eh? Please come sit down. <laughs> What are you girls doing here? So I can't come to stay with you again? Of course you can. Just that I don't want your mother to take offense since you now come here to see me every day. Emily. My mom and her good friend, they're always looking for something to say someone did or did not do. So that shouldn't bother you. Hmm? Well, I don't just want her to take offense at all. You know, your family is all I have left. And I really appreciate their kindness towards me. <laughs> you worry yourself too much. Hmm? Relax. Thank you. So, tell me, how's the business? Well, slow though. You know, I usually have sales towards midday and evenings. Huh? What are you doing with her back? <laughs> I hope you girls are not taking my money. It may be safe. Well, Inikpi, yeah. you've been really quiet. Are you okay? I'm good. I just admire your courage, that's all. She's a strong girl. She's very strong. Thank you. What else do I have left other than the courage to live? That's all I have. <sighs> Malia. Mm. <laughs> Malia, tell me. What? Has anyone come here to see you? No, 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 no. But I'm expecting Ame. I think he will soon come around. That's not who I meant. Ah, and who else would come here to chat up a poor blind girl like me? Come on. You're a pretty girl. <laughs> In the I mean, our Prince Charming. Ellie. Hmm? You still don't believe me, do you? <laughs> I was just joking. Oh, no, no. 
that didn't sound like a joke to me at all. I have this feeling that you think I'm keeping something away from you, which is not true. Uh, no, no, no. It's nothing. Seriously, just come on. Forget it. Mm. Let me get you a chilled drink. Actually, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Are you? Very well. <laughs> How's your business going? <laughs> well, the day is still young. Gradually to pick up. Okay. Um, have you seen Prince Arome around this area since then? No. So you mean I really appreciate you guys for me to see him. Oh, okay. No, it's okay. Though I was disappointed when Malia denied she didn't know him. It's okay. my hand. <laughs> it was her the prince came to see. <laughs> you know, Malia is a very shy person. So just forget that. See, listen to me. When it I have all the inconveniences, okay? <laughs> oh. Oh, thank you. Well done, sir. How are you? Fine, sir. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Ah, master! Wow, you have a terrific memory. Uh, I, I heard you lost your mother. Master, please, are you, are you, um, prince? My prince! Prince <laughs> Alame. Huh? Wow. I'm so delighted to meet you. Oh, please, get, get up. Rise, rise, oh my rise. God. <laughs> Malia is my Malia is my best friend. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, I, I I was just I was just talking with your friend. I heard she lost her mother. I was just asking her. Uh, oh, yes, she did. It's it's sad, but I've taken her in. She now lives with my parents and I. Yes, I couldn't imagine her suffering and being alone. I didn't want her to. That's very kind of you. Thank you. It's, it's, I'm so happy to see you. Pleased to meet you as well. Oh, Prince, I... I would like to have a word with you. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. I, I was carried away. It's alright. I, I understand. You uh, and I? Just me and her. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. Enjoy. Sit. Sit down. You knew I wanted him. Why were you behaving like that? How was I supposed to know? You know you can't trust people nowadays. Exactly. Nobody. There's another way to life. Yes. Oh, no, you can't. Let them do whatever they want to do. Yes. What I know is that what I want to do, I will do it. Exactly. Ha. Say that. Is she not your friend? Friends don't lie to friends. Uh, what did she do wrong? <laughs> Mommy, can you imagine? She, she she lied to me that she, she's never met Prince Harome before. Yet they came looking for her today. Prince yes, Mommy. She definitely didn't want me to meet him. <laughs> Just asking if she made a fool of us. Wait, wait, wait. How did she how did she meet Prince Harome? Beats me. I, I don't know. What, what, what would the place be doing with a dirty blind girl like her? I wonder. He amazes me, Mama. Surprises me. I'm really beginning to think she's a witch. Mommy, Mommy, I, I'm just so disappointed. I, I just want to be left alone. Just... <laughs> I told you to relax. That the opportunity will come to separate them. 
it and turn everything to advantage, hasn't it? Come on. Right? Yes. <laughs> but that's exactly the kind of man that my Ella deserves. Yes. Royalty. Yes. <laughs> anyway, tell me the truth. Is the prince handsome? <laughs> Mama, I'll describe him as Captain Ah, I hope you don't have Why you ask? Why should I when my friend Ellen Oh, that's a good girl. I'm since last night. See, Enyo has been terribly ill and he did my attention. But I, I, I thought you... That father is ill, right? Yes! Isn't that what you conveyed to me? You see, by God's grace, father is fine. See, I just needed you to come back here because Enyo is threatening to take our own life. I'm sorry. Okay, I will never, ever, ever play such a prank again. But please, she's dying. Please, I can't see she needs you. Um, please, be nice to her, okay? I'll just go and go back to the palace now. Lie beside me. Hold me and comfort me.
why your mother continuously disagreed with Onoka, or Jamalia's mother. She betrayed your mother severally. And her blood runs in her data. That's how they are. Yeah, I feel so disappointed. I mean, why wouldn't she tell me the truth? I'm her friend. Are you asking why? Why? Is it not obvious? She doesn't want you to meet the prince. Because she feels that the prince might end up liking you better. And might even want to marry you. Ah! <sighs> and see. She has just made the biggest mistake of her entire life because I am going to make that prince like me by all means necessary. Good. That is just the spirit. Her late wicked mother never wanted you to be better than her daughter. She always felt threatened and saw things between the two of you as a challenge. But for why, Auntie? I've never done anything to hurt her. Why would you want to do that? Because you are your mother's daughter. And she even swore that you will never be better than her daughter in life. And that's why Me. she even... Yes, you! That's why she went as far as visiting the witch doctor to prove that. And that's, and that's what led to her demise. She being crippled and her daughter blind. I don't feel an atom of pity in my heart for Ojamalia anymore. I'm so going to drive her away from this house before she even knows what happens. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. If you do that, you'll spoil the game. We are going to use her to achieve our aim. Since it's very obvious that the prince likes her. Prince? Yes. The prince likes her? Yeah. Prince Arume only feels pity for her because, because she's blind. Well, whatever it is, we will decide. What I want you to do is just to pretend that you're not offended. I want you to be like that innocent pig that is a terror in the bush. Yes, we will make her suffer in this house. <laughs> And see, I, I feel very bad that I, I've been fighting my mother over this girl. It's, it's somehow. No, 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 no. Don't worry yourself. See, your mother understands, okay? And you're just like, uh, uh, you're a nice person who apparently got bewitched by your journal, yeah? It's in their nature. Don't worry yourself. Don't feel bad. It's all right. I hate this girl. Yes. I hate and rightfully so. But while hating her, I want you to remain focused. Okay? <laughs> You're a very crafty person. Yes. I took after someone, didn't I? <laughs> Just pray that your plan works out fine, eh? Or else your brother will skin you alive. And don't need me to tell you what will happen. <laughs> Mother, you needed to see the look on his face. Oh, I felt bad for him. <laughs> now your brother is a very stubborn man. But it serves him right. Mm. Mm. Just like you, Mother. You know you're the one frustrating him. He can marry someone else. He, he can what? He can't try it. He dare not dream or even think of it. Don't you know your father made a promise to his friend, Abu? Mother. Ha. But according to what father said, it was you who made a promise to oh. anyone. Me. <laughs> and who is promising who what? Honestly, honey, I don't know why you like interfering in my discussion with my daughter. Why do you always do that? Well, because she happens to be my daughter and you my wife. 
We are not dragging that. Father, I might as well let you in to what I did. Because you will soon find out. Good. I remember part of this family. So what is it? you because I have a right to. Okay, do you want me to give my body to someone else when I'm betrothed to you? Of course not. I wasn't suggesting that. Stop! bumped into something. Any, this is really, really strange. This is strange because, you know, I'm always very careful. I'm always careful. Maybe it's your mindset. What were you thinking? Where was your mind? Okay. Any, I think you might be right because I've really had a lot on my mind lately. Like what? Like the way you left me earlier. Dini, I'm, I'm really sorry about the prints, okay? Yes, I know the prints. But it's not my fault that I'm blind. He never introduced himself to me as the prince. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. It's okay. Maybe I was angry because you lied to me, but... I have no reason to doubt you, do I? It's fine. Are you sure about that? Yes. I've forgotten all about it, okay? Ine, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, okay? Because I don't want any misunderstanding between us. Please, I'm sorry. Please. It's fine. Just let it go. 
Huh? How was your day at work? Were you able to make sales? Yes, I did. Oh. I'm so sorry. I am so, so sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to become violent. Come on, I'm fine. I'm fine. You have been apologizing for the last 10 minutes. Yes. That's because I am so ashamed of myself for reacting the way I did. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for always trying to force myself on you. Maybe I'll just learn to be patient until you are convinced I am what you want. Herself for just you. I do yearn for your touch, just to assure me that I am truly yours. You know, I know I've not been living up to expectation. Yes, I know, but I will change. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to hear that. At least I do have hope that all will be well between us. She's in there. Do take a seat and why we inform her of your presence? <laughs> no, I'm not new here. If she's in her chambers, I could just run up and see her. Well, I'm sorry, sir. The princess specifically instructed us to let no one up to her chambers except on her request. And perhaps you could wait over a drink. Offer him a drink, delay him till the princess comes out. What if she comes out to place her woman? Alright, fine. What do you suggest? That we inform her of our course presence. Mm -mm. You, not we. My dear, won't it be better to inform her now than what will come out of not informing her of her lover's presence while Prince Arume is around? My dear, I humble accept anything you suggest, but I won't be the one to go up there. Eh? I, I won't be the one either. So? Why will you take a drink to Akko to wind the wait time? Why will you go up to Mrs. Enos Chambers? I don't like this He's outside. I don't like this. You know what? You check outside, eh? Why not check upstairs?
meet Prince Arume. Prince Arume. He's my uh, Aku, my friend. Do anything else in this house except to wake up, eat your food, and go for your business. Now that you're back, do you also expect me to come and feed you? No, ma'am. I was about. You were just what? Well, your food is in the kitchen, so you can go get it. Thank you, ma'am. Go to the hospital. No, sir. It's just hot water. Okay, the pains will go away, sir. Oh, you reduce the pain. It also helps to uh, to make the wound not have scar after healing. Mm -hmm. Daddy, if she doesn't want to go to the hospital, we don't need to force her. It will get better by tomorrow. It's just that I feel bad that I'm the cause of this. And I, I thought I took the self and it's not your fault, huh? It's not your fault. I'm only a blind girl and accidents are prone to happen, huh? But Ellie, what were you doing with water that hot? Daddy, I wanted to use it to wash my wife's clothes after having my bath. Yeah, and how did it find its way close to the to the stairs? <laughs> instead of instead of the bathroom? Hey! She said she kept it there absolutely. This is not the time to apportion blame. The important thing is that Ojamalia should, should be fine. And of course, she's fine already because I've already applied oil. Don't you feel better? My queen, please permit me to speak my mind. Have I ever stopped you from speaking your mind? Oh, my queen, 
Well, in a situation like this, one has to be careful because your heart is troubled. And it's when one's heart is troubled. It's when one is troubled. Well, Her Majesty, I do think you left this soul mother to linger so much more than it would have been. And it's very much unlike you, my queen. Yes. I allowed my daughter to handle it because she understands the psychology of younger generations. Her Majesty, human mind does not work differently. It's just one line of thought that influences all their actions and lifestyle. I like the sound of what I'm hearing. So speak. My Queen, I have observed that Princess in you can never, ever impress Prince Arumi. Do you know why, my queen? Mm -mm. Because they were both raised differently and have different values. Do not jubilate, my royal maiden. See, I've thought towards that line too. But there's one thing you need to understand. Ayo was raised with parents that never cared for her. They were all busy taking care of their lives. And no one cared for that little girl. I claim no credit, my queen. Because I learned from you. Only to remind you what you forgot. Alright. You see, what we need now is not to understand the philosophy of the younger generation. But imposing ours, don't you think so, my queen? Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, I've left this matter to linger in their hands for a long time without results. But right now, I am taking over. I'm going to handle it in my own way. The earlier they begin to accept each other, the better for all of us. Thank you, my queen. Ellie. Oh, Ellie, 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 are you sleeping? Please wake up. Ellie, this pain is becoming unbearable, no? Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Ellie, Ellie, wake up, please. Ellie. But, but what is it now? Huh? Ellie. My leg, my leg is hurting. I'm dying. The pain is becoming unbearable, no? Eh, uh, sorry now. Just try and get some sleep. Please, like, can I approach your dad? You, you know he said when the pains become unbearable, I should let him know so he can take me to the hospital. Malia, do you know what time it is? Huh? You want to wake the entire house because you can't take a little pain? Ellie, oh. if you must go to the hospital, wait till tomorrow morning. It's late. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's not like I, I want to disturb anyone, but... I just need some kind of words from you, that's all. Oh. Ah. Oh. Kind words. Okay, sorry, just try and get some sleep. Oh. No, I just lie down. Get Me, I need my beauty sleep, okay? Sleep. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ellie, don't tell me you're sleeping. Malia, get some sleep now. Oh. Huh? Jamalia. Good morning, Ma. Good morning. How is your leg? 
very painful, ma. I couldn't even sleep last night, ma. But at least you were able to sleep a little, no matter how small. Just a little, ma. That was this morning or when the pain subsided. Mm. You'll be fine. Eh? You'll be fine. Uh, Ojamalia, mm. if Ella's father should ask you if you want to go to the hospital, tell him no. Because the injection they will give you there will be worse than what you're going through now. All right, ma. Thank you. Meanwhile, you have to get up. It's morning already, and you have work to do before you go for your your charge card business. Ma, like I said, I, I I feel pains all over. I don't think I'll be able to move around. Mm. But at least you'll still be able to eat, won't you? Mm. Ah, get up, go and wash the dishes. Or do you have anybody to do it for you? Mm -mm. Get up now, go and do it. Okay, but can I at least just say my money prayer? You can say your money prayer after you have finished washing the dishes. Did I say you shouldn't do your money prayer? Good morning. Why are you behaving like someone caught doing something naughty? Ojamali. Sir. Why are you doing the dishes with that wound on your leg? Daddy, I'm equally surprised. I mean, that's why I'm here. If you ask her to stop, she won't listen. You can try. I'm fine, sir. The pain has subsided, sir. That's so. Well, how was your night? Would you like to go to the hospital today? Like I said, sir, the pain will go away, sir. If I don't go and sell my recharge card, I won't be happy, sir. Ajamale, please be very careful with that leg. Yes, sir. Do you hear me? If there's something you need, let me know. Thank you, sir. Wash them properly. You're not even washing them. I'm being blind must be a cause. I'm leaving, Mother. Did you tell your father? Yes, I did. I mean, did you tell him what transpired in Enos' chamber that got you this upset? No, I didn't. Why didn't you? You should have told him, so that he would know that your negligence to the one betrothed to you is frustrating that young girl into keeping other men. Keeping other men? Mm. Mother! <sighs> Mother, I saw Chief Mona's son walk into Enya's private chambers without even the courtesy of knocking on the door. Now, a man who has such access to a woman's bedroom is what? Mama? My queen. Do you have an answer to that? A lover, I suppose. Thank you. You heard her. 
Thank you, Mother. Now, I will appreciate it if no one pressures me about getting married to that thing and allow me to concentrate on my life. You have no life if your father and I didn't bring you into this world. You have no life if we didn't train you and position you to the position where you are today. So the only way you could say thank you to us for all these things is to say no to the only one request that we requested from you. Well, I was about to fulfill that request until... Until you saw a man walk into Enos' chamber? I thought you never cared. Well, that is not the point. That is the point. She needed to know if you loved her. She tested you because I asked her. To what? That young girl was ready to move on with her life despite several rejections. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, mother. Are you? Yes. Are you saying that? Yes. I am saying that it was arranged. And my son made me proud. At least now she knows that you love her so much. Sit, Arome, please. Both of you should sit down and agree on the date. The alien will get through with this nonsense. We'll beat her for all of this. But no one told me. Now you know. I'm leaving, Mother. You come up with a date, son. Give me a date. Mother. Mother, that was harsh. Harsh? Yes. Hmm. The truth, they say, prevails. But it does not solve immediate problems. Did you get this ghastly looking wound? Good afternoon, sir. Malia. Sir. What happened to your leg? Besides, you didn't even hear me walk up to you. That's that's quite strange. I had so many things <coughs> on my mind, sir. Do you want to buy a recharge card? You still haven't answered my question. Oh, the wound. Yeah. It's just a little domestic accident, sir. What? You call this, you call this little? Let, let me take a look. Oh. And what's this funny looking, whatever you put on it? Try, it's oil, it, it heals wounds. Why didn't you go to the hospital? It will heal, sir. At this point, I insist you come with me. I'll take you to the hospital. Oh, no, sir. It will heal, okay? Besides, there's no point wasting money on a small wound like this, sir. But you shouldn't even be here. Only God knows the kind of pain you'll be going through right now. I need to save money for a bigger business, sir. All right, fine. First, I will take you to the hospital. When we're done, we'll sit down and talk about your big business. Okay? Besides, we heal. I insist. You need to take good care of this leg. Come on, let's go. Yes, 
Nice to meet you, madam. Thank you. She has told me a whole lot about you and nice things. Yes. Told me how you've been taking very good care of her. We give God praise. It is the Lord's doing. Uh, but, uh, Malia, Mama, ask her. We have been begging her over and over and over again to take her to the hospital for proper treatment. But she refused. She said she's scared of her injection. Hmm? And she still had to go out today. No more praise. Eh? I'm sorry, Mama. He insisted on taking me. Oh, yes. I insisted. The leg was pretty bad. Hey. This is Since yesterday that this happened, ask her. We've been begging her over and over again for her to go for proper treatment. She refused. Is it not true? Well, it's okay. It's nothing to worry about. The leg has been treated. But she needs to rest. No. What will she do for me? Nothing. Please, I beg you, don't let her do anything. But talk to her. She's a very stubborn woman. Yeah, I've noticed that. Have... My prince. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Auntie, good afternoon. Good afternoon, good afternoon my dear. Mama. Thank you for what you did for her. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's all right. It's, it's nothing. It's yes. Nothing. Thank you very much. It's nothing. Uh, Malia, I, I have to leave now. I'm traveling very far. Remember what I told you? Same thing the doctor said. Rest your leg so it can heal properly. Thank you, Good. sir. Okay. Uh, but before I leave, you need anything? Anything you want me to get for you? No, 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 sir. You've done more than enough, sir. God bless you. All right. But uh, I'll just do this quickly before I leave. Have a good day. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hey, this is very kind of you. May God replenish where this came from. Amen. Thank you, thank you. It's okay. It's all right. God bless you too. Save Johnny. Uh, you know how to reach me? Yes, sir. Ah. You know how to reach you. Okay. Okay. Mama. Okay. Mama. Bye. 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 Mama, the prince is very kind. Though. Very kind. Mm. Huh? Auntie, what did the prince give me? And to give to you? Me. Eh? Are you the one who has been taking care of yourself? Look at this idiot. I'm sorry, Ma. Mama. Hey. Mama. Hey. 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 Okay. Enter now. Don't you know the way to hey. Move, 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 move. Hey. Auntie, move. Huh? Mama, the prince gave me money. Hmm? Yeah. 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 Give up. Yeah. Uh. Hey. Tell me the truth. Do you have anything to do with the young man in question? Don't worry about Odo's presence. There is no secret between us. After she'll get to hear about everything you're about to say. It was a mistake. What was a mistake? That the young man walked into your room where your fiance was there or that you're having something to do with him? He was told by my maidens to wait while they reached me, but he wouldn't wait. Certainly he didn't see any reason to wait because that's a place he goes to all the time. He has only been to my chambers a couple of times. To do what? He is my... He is my friend. That he is your friend is not the question. The question is what do you have to do with him? Nothing. Isn't that laughable? 
He didn't say the same thing. Although, did he? No, my queen. He confessed to everything he has with Princess Eyo. He did what? She didn't hear you. Hako said that he is having an affair with Princess Eyo and hopes it leads to marriage soon. How could he say such a thing? Now you sit down. I said sit down. I don't like repeating myself, but if I should, I would do that again. What do you have with that young man? He's a friend. That is not what my queen means, Princess Ayo. Are you having an affair with Akko? Aruba is never there for me. He looks down on me. It's, it's kind of frustrating. That still doesn't answer the question, my noble princess. If that's the best you can do, I will take it. But make sure that such mistake doesn't occur again. For Christ's sake, stop creating rooms for scandals. Because you will one day be a queen. Is that clear? Yes, Your Majesty. Arome is my son. And he will do whatever I ask him to. Always have that in mind. Every day by day by day by day by day day by day by day by day by day by Every day by 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 Talk to me now. What is the matter? <laughs> Mommy, he sent for me and as soon as I got there, he didn't even allow me to enter the house. He just told me that it's over. That it's over between us, just like that. Just like that? Yes, Mommy. Wait a minute. Did both of you have any problem before now? No. Mama, it is because of Princess Enyo. That little brat. What does Akko have to do with her? Mommy, they are dating. It's a lie. I'm serious. That's not true. Mommy, he told me to my face that he's dropping me because he's hoping to marry her. And he doesn't want anything to come between both of them. Why are men so foolish? Why would they prefer a girl who is not well brought up to a girl that is well brought up like you? I don't know. Mama, <laughs> I heard the prince caught both of them. Naked up in her chamber. What? Yeah. Mommy, I will never have anything to do with him again. Never. Mommy, he humiliated me. No man. No man humiliates my daughter. Not when I'm still alive. It's not possible. Akko's behavior was really shocking and shameful. Guess what? Is it not divine intervention? Prince Arome came here today. Prince Arome was here? Shh. Quiet. But Amalia is in the house. We have to talk. Okay. Take it easy. 
everything will be fine. It's okay. You're so emotional. Yeah? Little things just carry away your heart. Don't you? Stop that irritating noise. I'm sorry, but I want to ask you a question. Anything is better than that noise you're making back. What is it? Am I no longer welcomed here? What sort of question is that? Has anyone asked you to leave? I don't need anyone to ask me to leave before I notice the, the attitudes around me. I don't. Malia, if there is anything you want to say, just say it and stop moving around in circles. I no longer feel welcomed. That's what I want to tell you. How? Is there anything I've done wrong? Eh? Or is there anything my late mother must have done wrong? Because it's obvious your mom really hates me. It's obvious. That is ridiculous. So my mother hates you, yet you live in her house and eat her food. Huh? I may be blind, Amy, but I have feelings. And I can perceive negative attitudes around me. Like now, you're looking at me with a scorn. something that would favor me away from me. How do you mean? How? Prince Arame. You knew he would like me the moment he sees me. Yet you hid the fact that you've met him away from me. Why? Ellie. Are you trying to say that you don't even believe me? I don't believe you. I don't believe you one bit. Why? Have you told me that Prince Arame took you to the hospital today? Have you told me that he brought you back to this house? And even gave you money? Have you? And I was gonna tell you. I was gonna tell you. Oh. And I was holding your mouth. But you've been hostile to me. <laughs> Malia. Mm. Malia. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I'll forgive you. I'll forgive you anything and everything. Hmm? Tell me, what kind of things do you discuss with him? Nothing much. He just asks me questions and I answer him. That's all. Isn't that something? Mm. He says he finds me interesting. That's all. <laughs> well, it's only a wicked person that wouldn't find you interesting because you're just a blind girl and you need pity, you know? But I don't think his likeness towards me is based on pity you. At all, it's not. What then? I wouldn't know. But do you know that each time I talk with him, I feel so relaxed. As if I've known him for a very long time. 
unlike other strangers who sometimes would want to talk to me and I would just ignore them. Malia, 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 Malia. I don't think I am interested in all that. I just want to meet him and maybe something could click and who knows. Do you know that would be nice actually? Considering the fact that you've been my friend for a very long time. That's my reservations about you. Malia, haven't I apologized? I know, I know you've apologized, okay, and I accept. Okay, that's my problem. Oh, Amy. Mm -hmm. Can I share a secret with you? Of course. I mean, if you don't trust me, then I'm not your friend. Don't I share my secrets with you? Of course you do, okay? But this one, you have to promise me that you're not going to tell anybody. Not even your mother. I promise. Are you sure? I promise. You bought a phone? No, oh, I didn't buy a phone. Prince Arome bought it for me on our way from the hospital. Prince Arome bought you this phone? Yes. They must really, really like you. Of course it does. And he said I should look for someone that will help, help me put my number in the phone and call his number so that we can both be talking. You have his number? Of course I do now. He said I can call him any time I want to call him. But, do you know what I find most interesting about that phone? Huh? Are you there? Eli? Eli, are you there? Uh, what, what? Okay. The most interesting thing about the phone you're holding is that I can actually start making commercial calls with the phone. But my only problem now is that I wouldn't know how best to make the call so that I don't get cheated. You know this my Malia, customers. Just bring his number. Let me help you down his, his, his number in your phone. I have a way. Oh, stop talking too much. Hello. Good evening, my friends. Good evening. Who am I speaking to, please? My name is Ele, Malia's friend. What about Malia? Is anything wrong with her? No, Malia is fine. There is no problem. She just asked me to let you know you can reach her on this number. Okay. Um, it fell into water and refused to work, so. Yes, you know, she's always bumping into things and tripping things over. Actually, she accidentally pushed the phone into water. She, she was very sad and she's, she has fallen asleep, yes. She doesn't even know I'm calling you. I just decided on my own to call you so that you would know how to reach her. I just want her to be happy. She's fine. She's okay. She's not feeling any pains anymore. <laughs> my friends, thank you. You've just made my entire day. Oh, my prince. My prince? Um, can I say something? You, I, I like the way you sound on the phone. And you're a very kind man. Thank you, my friends. Good night.
Hello, Inigli. No, please, there's something I need to discuss with you. I need, I need an advice from you. Ele. Ele, where did you go now? The, the phone is not connecting now. I went to get water to clean your wound. Oh, oh okay. Um, let me have the phone. Maybe it's the network. Oh my god. Hey, what is it? Man, the phone fell into the water. Huh? Why? Huh? Won't it spoil? Um, I don't think so. L let me try. Oh. Huh. Oh god, what kind of retentition is this now, eh? Phone, I've never even used that tone. I've not used that tone, not even once. Please, please don't panic. Just relax. It's not my fault. You thought your hand had reached mine and you let it fall into the water. God, no, Prince Arame will just think I'm a very careless person, eh? Why now? Why? Please don't worry, Joe. If the phone doesn't work, you can always reach me with my own phone. Ah. Are you saying the phone will not work again? Man, never reduce your voice. You're the same person that said you don't want my mother to know he bought you a phone. I know, I know. I, I know, I know, but the thought of the phone not working again is making me shout, oh. It's making me shout. Listen, if it doesn't work, I can get someone to fix it. The important thing is, you can use my phone to switch in. The phone must work on, the phone must, must just work, eh? Because this is the first time somebody is giving me a gift like this now, eh? Uh, how can it not work? The phone cannot just spoil like this Whose now. fault is it? You were careless, you let it drop into the water. I don't know. I just... know, I know what. It's fine, it's okay. Tomorrow morning, I'll just open the phone and try it. Perhaps by money it will work. Just chill. Oh, What's on this one? No, this is bad. This is not good at all. No, the phone should just work. This call my son for me. Yes, Your Majesty. I know it's my phone. I'm not blind. What's going on? He's not picking up his calls. Don't worry about it. It's not urgent. It's not important. What's going on? Why are they talking about private calls? Because I know the game the callers are up to. Okay, don't bother. Call your brother. He's not picking my call as well. Okay. Let me call you. Brother, I'm actually very busy. Is that why you're not picking your calls? Like I said, I'm very busy. Is that why you're not picking your sister's call and Enya's own? Um, Mother, please, if it's not of utmost urgency, then allow me to call you later when I'm less busy. Okay? Thank you. Did your brother just cut his phone on me? Arome, can you tell me what's going on? This is unlike you. Mother, I would suggest we leave him alone for now. Arame doesn't behave like that. But he just did. How could he? Um, maybe he's busy. Perhaps. And your come, let's go chat to my father. Excuse me, Your Majesty.
which phone is ringing? Hello? Uh, hello? Hello? Huh? Yeah, can I speak with Malia, please? Prince Arame, it's me or Jamalia. Really? You sound kind of different. How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm fine, thank you, sir. Good. Uh, and the leg? The pain has subsided, sir. But the phone you bought for me fell into water. Human being or you? But I'm, 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 I'm. Shut up! She's so unpolished. Dummy. Ellie. Hey. What? What is it? Something. Something strange has happened. Cancel our uh, appointment with Honorable Judge. Come on. Why? I have a very important uh, something to attend to. I'll, I'll see you shortly. <laughs> what's going on? He's not taking my course. I don't know what's happening. Maybe you overheard what I said. You're being lenient with that witch. Oh my god. Oh. I'm so confused and worried. You sound like a weakling. Are you no longer your mother's daughter? I am my mother's daughter. You are your mother's daughter? Then let's go in and take that with a lesson she'll never forget in a hobby. <laughs> if you had seen when I was scraping her head. <laughs> she was crying like a baby rat. I trust you. I trust you. Am I not my mother's daughter? <laughs> Mommy, it was fun. I scraped the life out of her. She didn't get her. I trust you. Where is Georgia Malia? I have not seen her since I returned. Is there anything else she knows how to do except to eat, sleep, wake up and eat again? That's not very nice. What else would you want her to do? Daddy, she's okay. She's sleeping in the room. <sighs> Please, Arame. Go, 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 go. You're welcome, my friends. Uh -huh. How are you? Fine. No, I'm not fine. You're not fine? What's wrong? He refused to take my call. Oh, oh. Sorry. Forgive me. I, uh, I was busy. Yeah. Can I, can I see Maria? No. Yes, we can see her, but I want to talk to you about something. Okay. Go ahead. It's about the call. I know you overheard some of the conversations I had with Malia. It wasn't deliberate. Alright. What happened? Malia has been behaving like a kid since her phone got spoiled. I told her you would do something about it. I told her to calm down but she wouldn't listen. Then I came out and she was taking my call and I yelled at her. I didn't know it was your call. Seriously. It's okay. It's alright, it's nothing. Can I see her now? 
How do I know you're not still upset with me? I am not upset, truly. Um, can I hug you to be sure? No problem. I'm okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Molly has been resting like you requested. See, she has even put on weight. <laughs> yes, and she's feeling well now. Oh, yes, it's, uh, it's happened. May God bless you for everything you've done for her. <laughs> come, come sit here. Come. No, my friend. Come and sit down here. <laughs> Yes, yes. You're welcome, my friend. Easy. Easy. Easy with the leg, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Oh, my friends. You're a very humble person. I mean, compared to the <laughs> pride and arrogance we associate with. Royalty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. I'm honored. Thank you. Uh, uh, sir, uh, would you would you mind if I have a word with her in private? What? <laughs> Malia. Why? We're honored to have you here. My prince, me? Yes, you. I noticed something. You're not happy here. No, sir. I'm happy. They've been really kind to me, sir. Mali, I see through your disguise. You don't have to hide anything from me. I'm not hiding anything from you, sir. I'm only but a poor blind girl. Why then would I not appreciate people who have harbored me for this long? Okay, in other words, you don't have a choice then. I have a choice, sir. Really? Tell me. I could run away. <laughs> oh, please! Run away to where? As far as my legs can carry me. Okay, now that's very funny. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I, I know what's going through your mind. Really? Yes. Okay, tell me. You're thinking, how far can a poor blind girl like me run? But you forget that sometimes, life displeasures can push someone beyond expected bounds. Very smart. I have big dreams. Very big dreams. I, I wish that someday I will be able to further my education. That's the kind of dream I dream when I'm alone. 
You're ambitious. I like that. It is only a fool who's lazy that won't aspire to be the best. Oh, yeah. I aspire to be the best. And I agree. I agree. I heard that there are schools for the blind. I know that someday I'll be able to save up enough money, which I'm already saving, to go there. I like that. I like that. Can I... Can I ask you something? Yes, sir. If you had an opportunity to go to the city, mm. will you take it? Of course I will grab it. Who wouldn't? Fine, then. Follow me. <laughs> no, sir. No. Come on. You just said it. You said you'll grab the opportunity and I am giving it to you. Sir, what would a poor blind girl like me be doing in your presence? I am not even worthy to clean your shoes. Sir, I really appreciate you coming here to see me. But please, I beg of you, do not give me false hopes. Please. Please. Remember what you said the first day you met me? I said you sound like a nice man, sir. Malia. Sir. I am still the same person. I don't know, for some reason, I, I took a special liking in you. And I really want to help you. So you need to trust me. I know you are not happy here and it doesn't make me happy. Come with me to the city. Sir? You want to take me to the city? Me? Yes. Why? That's the best thing that will ever happen to her. I am overjoyed and happy for her. But we have to find out if she really wants to go with you. Um, <laughs> Ojamalia is a shy person. She might say yes now and let her be dying in pains. Um, so let us allow her to make up her mind on what she wants. <laughs> Yes. That is true. Because no sane person in her condition will turn such an offer down. We really need to give her time to think and see if that's what she really wants. As for me, I think Malia would prefer to stay close to her Ame. Her sweetheart. That is true. Ame. Yes. <laughs> Malia. Papa. Do you wish to be given more time to decide on what you want? I may not have the eyes to see, but I have a voice to speak for myself. The decision has already been concluded before we came to seek for your approval. Papa, my mind is made up. I'm going with the prince. Hmm. That is it! <laughs> we are going to continue to use you to help the needy. Thank you, sir. It is very apparent you are going to make a great leader. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Any Malia. I'm very the prince. I'm very happy for you. Mm, yes. We are happy for you. Thank you. I mean, this will give me an opportunity to be closer to the prince. <laughs> He's such a nice person.
And you slept half of the way. But thank God we're here. Mm. All right, get down. You know, you know, it's a new environment altogether. And I'm usually not comfortable in a place I'm not used to. Yeah, no, no John, don't, don't worry. You can, you can leave now. Go back to your post. Well, Malia, you need to know that this is your new home now. So you better start getting used to it. Hmm? All right, let's go. Let me help you. Careful. Yeah. Ah, easy. Don't worry, I'm here. Oh, my sequence. <laughs> no, easy. I'll, I'll get it for you. There you go. wife what about people that will help you run around in the house huh? well, well I'm not married so because of that I see no need for house help but perhaps now that you are around things will change hmm. all right let me show you around my, I'll show you my prince maybe if you if, if you show me what to do I could help you I can be of help my prince huh? all right talk about that later. all right my prince no I, I don't want to be guided so that I can move around without your help, my friends. Okay. <laughs> just, just be careful. Easy. <laughs> Allow me show you around, at least for the first time. Okay, here is the bed. How do you feel? That's the bed. Okay, right. let me show you some more.
I see you're measuring your footsteps. Yes, sir. It's something that developed naturally to get me acquainted with my new environment. That is fine. I must say you're doing pretty well. Alright, let me show you something. done anything to deserve this kindness from this noble prince. All I have to say is that you brought me here for a reason and let your will be done. I also want to say thank you. Thank you Lord. sitting here like this. Is everything alright? 
Yes, Daddy, I'm fine. I don't think so. Why did you suddenly dislike your friend or Jamalia, whom you convinced me to bring in? Daddy, Malia has always seen me as a competition. Right from primary and secondary school days. I thought that was all over until suddenly it became obvious that it isn't. Why do you say so? Malia knew that Prince Arome was beginning to like me. Then she bewitched him just like her mother taught her. Daddy, they are truly evil. They are evil. It is unfortunate that you have taken after your mother. You showed sign of being different. Daddy, you will not understand. But what I'm telling you is the truth. If Prince Arome loves you the way you claim, he will find you because he knows where you are. Taking out Jamalia with him wouldn't change that. How, Daddy? Now that she has possessed him, she has bewitched him, how? Well, my daughter, I won't have you live your life like this because it will lead to self-destruction. Now listen to me. A heart that knows no peace cannot have love. Well, I believe we cannot really run away from whom we are. But destiny will always find us. another beautiful day. Thank you Lord for all you've been. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Father, I ask of you that may you bless my part. Bless the Prince, O oh Lord. Grant his heart desires. Father, God of the blind, all I have to say is just to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for all you've been unto me. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank you. 
Left yesterday, so I woke up around 5 a.m. I know your smell, my prince. I can feel your presence. Oh, nice. Impressive. Meanwhile, breakfast is ready. Over there, dining table. Hmm. My prince, you still did not allow me to cook for you. Ah, oh, you don't have to worry. Very soon you will do that. Besides, we'll be having domestic staff from today. All right, my prince. Uh, uh, one more thing. I, I came to your room to look for you. I, I didn't see you. Uh, my prince, I think that was when I went to take my bath. Okay, and where did you take your bath? At the backyard. And why would you do that? Why didn't you use the bathroom in your room? Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry, my prince. I'm sorry. I never knew I was supposed to take my bath in there. Of course, of course you're supposed to do it in there. But it's okay, maybe it's my fault I didn't teach you. I'll teach you that later. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh no, it's alright. It's alright, it's okay. Right. It's okay. Go have breakfast. Hmm? Uh, alright, my prince. Thank you. You're not happy. I am equally not happy. Your mother is not happy as well. What happened was so sudden and that no one was prepared for it. I am so devastated. And I, I believe Prince Arame was beginning to like me. See, uh, from, from a reliable source, there is crisis now, right now, in the King's Palace. Hmm? Yes. Prince Arame has stepped his foot down over Princess Eyo. And he, he, there's pressure for him to marry. Malia, I swear. 
swear to God, Auntie, if I get Malia, I will strangle her to death. No, 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 no. There's no need for that. I want the two of you to continue being friends. Eh? See, I have made arrangements through one of our maidens to introduce you to Ojime, Princess Ojime. Princess Ojime? Eh? Auntie, are you serious? Yes. <laughs> That's a big deal. And I heard Prince Arome dotes on his only sister. Yes, he does, you know. And getting uh, Princess Ojime's attention is as good as getting uh, Prince Arome's attention. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. And if the royal household begins to appreciate you, Prince Arome will accept you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And see, <laughs> I owe you. I know. <laughs> you are my daughter. You are my daughter. I'm doing what a mother, you know, will do for a daughter. I'm so happy. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It's all right. So let me let me go home. Eh? Okay. Uh, I'm from Buko. So. All right. Greet them that, for yeah, me. Greet your mom for me. Bye bye. All right. Every day by day by day by. Every day by day by day by. If it's about the the head, I I, I think it's beautiful. I'm not beautiful. Please stop patronizing me. Yeah, of course I'm not patronizing you. But are, are you not the one who chose to shave off your hair? No, I didn't do it. It was by force. So. By force. Okay, tell me how how did it happen? Tell you, but the other day you came to the house, and they immediately ran inside to meet me, and then she she begged me to forgive her that she was sorry for what she did to me. She immediately helped me to shave it with a blade before I came out to meet you, my friend. Oh God! Oh no, this is wicked. This this is totally heartless. This is 
is his colors. I must do something about this. I will not let such wickedness go unpunished. No, no my prince. My prince, please, I beg of you. Please, forgive them. I gave her my word that forgiving her, and I want you to do that as well. Please, I beg of you. So my noble prince. Jamalia, we have new domestic staff. Um, that is Uyo. Uyo is the new chef. Uyo, how are you? Fine, thank you, Mom. Good. And that is uh, Juma. Uh, Juma will be taking very good care of you. She will teach you all you need to know as a lady. In other words, she will be teaching you etiquette. It's nice meeting you, Malia. Nice to meet you too, Ajuma. I like your voice. Thank you very much. No, oh, I like that. It shows you bond properly. Nice. And this guy right here. This is John, my gate man and caretaker. Yes, it is me. Good man. Yes. Don't mind, John. Just, just leave him. All right, folks. The essence of this introduction is to let you know that henceforth you'll be taking orders from Ojamalia. She runs the house, not me. Am I expected to say something? Sure. Say anything you want to say. Thank you very much. And nice to meet you all. I want to beg you people to be very patient with me because I'm only but a poor village blind girl. It's all right. You can leave now. Thank you, sir. Sit down. Sit. Uh, okay. Meanwhile. My friends and business associates will be coming to see you this evening. Yes, we're meant to have dinner with them. So I would like you to look as presentable as you can. Hmm? Ajuma will see to that. Oh. Malia, what is it? I miss my mom so much. I really miss her. My mom worked and prayed so hard just so I would have a better life. And now that God has brought me here, she's not yet to be found. I really wish my mom was here to witness all of this. I wish. It's okay, you don't. You don't have to cry. Hmm? It's all right. I believe God used her death to bring me close to you. And trust me, I know that wherever your mom is right now, she will be happy for you. Hmm? Thank you so much, my prince. It's all right. Thank you. It's okay. All is well. God bless you. Bless you too. So, how are you? Ele, hope I'm correct. You're correct. <laughs> I'm so excited to meet you. <laughs> oh, this is my friend Inipi. How are you, Inipi? I'm fine, thank you, my princess. Thank you. Oh. Well, you fit everything. My maiden told me about you. Impressed. Wow. I hope they're good ones. Yeah. Um, do I get you something to drink? Um, nothing. Come on. You know, you know that is unheard of. That you came to King Oboni's palace without being entertained. 
Hey, come on, tell me what you want. I have red wine, champagne, just anything. Just tell me. Well, anything my princess suggests will be just fine. Listen, if we are going to be good friends, like I assume, yeah, then you should learn to be free with me. Come on, speak your mind. See, I personally was brought up to think independently, okay? Mm. Okay. Perhaps I had the wrong impression about royalty. <laughs> but I'm impressed and I like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> but you know, the word royalty is just a privilege. There's actually not much difference between the both of us. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is true. So, tell me more about you. Yeah. I was told that you were rather different from all these girls in this village. I know I don't have friends around here, so most times I get really bored. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have come to remedy it. Well, we're going to be such good friends. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome again. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you should have told him though, eh? No, no, no I, don't, I don't have to tell him. You should do that. Tell him what happened the other day. Put him in the picture. Come on, he deserves to know, guy. Come on. Okay, tell me. Small. <laughs> I should have told him. Ako and Oguchi. Meet Malia. Good evening. Yeah. Good evening, Malia. How are you? Very well. Hello, Malia. Hi. Alright, sit. Okay. So, nice. You met Malia? She's met you, so. Oh, uh, all good. It's all pleasant. Yes, you were saying something. Go on. Oh, he was talking. Yeah. You still haven't told me what you discussed with Princess Benjamin. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Must you know everything? Of course, yes. It's very important. <laughs> My daughter now wines and dines with royalty. Hey! <laughs> eh? She no longer mingles with second class citizens like uh, Chief Munaza and son. <laughs> no, no, no. Mama, I cannot wait to see Akko's face when he discovers I am now friends with Princess Enyo. Because I'm going to meet that true Princess Wajime. Mm -hmm. Of course, yes. Mm -hmm. If that happens, you know what to do? Me. Mama. <laughs> hey, am I not your daughter? I trust you. <laughs> 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 Mama. Mama, come on, let me just try. Do you know that Princess Ojumi accepted me as if I was her long lost sister? Don't mean it. We bonded immediately. Mama, do you know she took me to see the king and the queen? Really? <laughs> I'm telling you. Mama, from the expressions on their faces, I could tell that they had accepted me. That shows that you are well brought up and qualified to be royalty. To when I die with royalty. <laughs> good. That's very good. Thank hey. you. Also, have you eaten? Mama, me. I'm not hungry. <laughs> my heart is just bent on conquering Prince Arumi's heart. That is all my heart desires at this point. And that is exactly what you will get because you deserve it. <laughs> you deserve it. Yes! <laughs> wow, wow. Uh -huh. Pleased to meet you, Ellen. Same here. Pleased to meet you, Amy. 
me to meet you, my princess. Has anyone ever told you how pretty you really look? Oh, come on, Prince Aroma says that to me all the time. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Then he appreciates you because only a man who truly loves a woman tells her the truth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can come from that. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Oh, oh I see a very wonderful. Yeah, and the music Right, yeah. <laughs> okay, so. I, Ajuma, I need you to understand that I'm from a very poor home and I'm not used to some of these things before now. That's alright. But the most important thing is that fortune has found you. Found me? Yes. Well, I do know that Prince Arame is very kind to me because he's a very nice person. I'm not related to him in any way, so I, I do not think that he owe me any kind of favors. Malia, for God's handwork to manifest in your life, you just have to accept it and believe. All right, I believe and I accept. I hope you know I like you. And I like you too, Ajuma. Thank you. So let's continue with our lessons. Let me uh, let me try it again. Okay, well. Like this. Mm-hmm. Do your mouth. Wow. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I believe by the time I am true with you, mm -hmm. I must have molded you into a perfect lady. Would you like that? Of course, I would like that. Good, beautiful. So, our next lesson will be on courtesy and courage. Hmm? Like I want to. What are you looking for? Water? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks to God. And the friends. And the prince, of course. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Like seriously, huh? What every woman needs is nerves. Raw, hard nerves and courage. Because men are like animals and should be treated as such. Honestly. You know, I really, I really wish I was like you. With so much freedom to live out my fantasies. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I'm really fascinated by your story. But we are restricted because a lot is expected of us as princesses. As Just forget about the expectations and dreams of people. Just live your life. Because, okay, let me just... There was this my lecturer way back in school, huh? He was just disturbing my life and my studies. Guess what I did to him? I set him up with my friends. We drugged him. Stripped him naked. <laughs> and recorded him. Oh my God! Oh, oh my God. God, this is crazy. Hey. Wait, did all of you have sex with him? <laughs> no way. That would have just been giving him all he wanted. No way, we didn't. No way. 
sharp. <laughs> we didn't sleep with him, but we teased him and teased him. <laughs> We teased him until he went crazy with wanting us. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Wait, were, were you not afraid of what we would do after then? No. He was the one that was scared of being exposed. Remember I recorded him? I had him on tape. <laughs> you blackmailed him? You call it blackmail. I call it keeping him on check. <laughs> Oh my god, this is crazy. Both of you are just my kind of girls. I like you. Okay, tell me, tell me, tell me. What happened? Tell me. You know, after then, this man never disturbed us ever again. Like, seriously. Good. Guess what I did to him when I graduated? I sent the tape to his wife as a parting gift. You did what? Oh. <laughs> oh my god, no, no, no. I would never have the nerve to do that. Never. <laughs> Wait, were you not bothered about people seeing you inside the tape you recorded? You think I would be dumb enough to record us in the video? No. I mean, what we had was this dirty, smelly buddy <laughs> and some girl's hands fondling his Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Both of you are just like I just yelled. Thank you. <laughs> but, but you know that could ruin his marriage, right? <laughs> that was actually the intention. To give him back all he gave to every girl in school. <laughs> and guess what? I achieved it. Yes, I heard they had separated. Good job! <laughs> now, that's of the limit. No. No! Seriously, he deserves it. Yeah, his wife needs to know the kind of animal he got married to. Trust me, I would do worse if I have the privilege to. <laughs> oh my god, this is so interesting. <laughs> What are you making? Because it's really smelling nice. <laughs> but the yeah, almond style of steak. Wow, style of steak. Mm -hmm. I know the prince would really like it because my mouth is watering already. Mm -hmm. Yes, he will. But I'm actually making it because of you. <laughs> wow, that's really kind of you. But I'm more concerned with the prince, you know. He works so hard and I really want him to eat well. Yeah, I know. But the prince employed me because of you. And besides, I realize that the prince likes you very much. Oh, Uyo, I must really confess that I'm truly overwhelmed. Okay? Just when I thought that my life was over, just when I thought that my dreams and aspirations were all gone, the prince came into my life and rescued me. I'm really grateful to God. Our God is good. And he knows where we need him. Besides, maybe God has a surprise for you. Because when God wants to bless you, he will never stop until he embarrasses you with abundance of blessings. That's true, Uyo. I am not selfish. God has done more than enough for me already. Sending the priest to rescue me, it's, it's the best thing that has happened to me. And I'm grateful to God for that. I'm grateful. Did you hear the sound of the car driving in? No. Ow, oh, I think I did. Because I've been waiting for that sound for a very long time now. That must be the prince. Excuse me, that's the prince.
How do you always know when I'm coming in? I don't know. Maybe I can feel it. I can feel your presence, my friend. Oh, well, I can't say it doesn't make me happy. How are you? I'm fine, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Come. Uh, I'll sit here. Welcome, my friends. Thank you. So, how was your day? Fine. Ajuma taught me a whole lot today. Oh. She taught me how to use the court levy, and then she said she's gradually transforming me into a woman. But the part I don't understand is how can a blind girl like me fit into the position of a woman? Come hmm? on. You don't have to say that. Blind or not blind. You are a beautiful lady and you deserve the best and the best you shall have. Thank you, my friend. So how did your day go? Well, nah, my day went well. I'm uh, kind of exhausted, but I clicked a couple of deals. <laughs> Thank God. Thank you. Did you have something to eat? Yeah, I had a bite. A bite? What's a bite? Sandwich. I'm talking about real food. I mean food. A man who works as hard as you do should be able to eat real food and Uyo is in the kitchen preparing something very delicious for you. Ah, don't worry, we'll eat out. How on earth are we going to eat out when we have more than enough to eat and to drink in this house? Besides, Uyo is very busy in the kitchen preparing something very delicious for you. And I said, do not worry. I want to take you out to dinner. We'll have dinner. Really? Yeah. Thank you, my friend. Thank yeah. you. She's here. Who is here? Ailey. What does she want? No idea. She even came here with some other girl. They are still waiting for Princess Enyo's approval before they come in. Well, tell the guys that the princess doesn't want to be disturbed. <laughs> what if she's the one that actually invited them? She normally tells us on who to expect, doesn't she? In that case, we'll just pretend we didn't know she officially invited them if it turns out she did. Yes, fast. I'll even go out there and tell her a word myself. What is going on here? I asked a question, didn't I? I, I was coming to tell you that, um, that you have a guest. Oh, if it's Ellen, let her come in. Okay, very well. for attention that is obviously clear. See, we must talk to the princess. I think so. Because I actually don't like her at all. She's, she, she looks so fake. What are the two of you whispering about? <laughs> Things that only maidens in this palace should know about. I guess it doesn't concern me then. You got the word right. Let's go. Let's go. The bloody gossip. So we still I don't like them. Good evening, Prince Arume. Why are you not taking my calls? Are you not at home? We we'll definitely find an excuse not to take my call again. Did he just drop the call on me? Well, I won't give you the pleasure of calling back. Oh, God. I wish 
Aku was here to comfort me. I need a man. Any man. Ojomale, <sighs> you don't seem happy at all. Prince, our best friends don't like me. Why would you say so? Because I can perceive it. There's this hostility about them. You might be misjudging them, you know. No, I'm not. I don't easily feel this way about people, but there's this thing about them that makes me so uncomfortable. Oh, in German, they are. Mm. I suggest you ignore whatever hostility you feel towards them. Especially since the prince is not complaining, not mm -hmm. seem concerned. Mm. Now, it's time for you to take your bed and go to bed. Mm -hmm. All right, Adrian. Please come in. Good evening, Good evening. How are you? Good evening, my friends. Good evening. How are you? Very good. I'd like to have a word. Good night. Good Well, I noticed you've been uh, quiet and withdrawn since we came back from the restaurant. No, I was fine at the No, you are not. What's wrong? My friends, do you really want to know? Yes, it is necessary. I know what displeases you. Friends seem not to like me. Of course they do. No. I think they see me as an intruder. Someone who does not deserve to be seen around them or you. Okay. And I agree. Yeah. Why would you say that? I think they, they see me they see me as embarrassing. But, but the question is, don't you? Okay. Um, what about Princess Enyo? Listen, I do not find you embarrassing. <laughs> no. And my friends are only being protective. And Princess Enyo is not a problem. No, my prince. I'm sorry, but there seems to be something about you and Princess Enyo that your friends want you to correct. My prince, have I said anything wrong? Oh, oh no, no, no. Uh, actually, you, uh, you're right. I will correct it. Thank you. I've made arrangements for us to see an optician who will check you out and see the possibilities of correcting your sight. Huh? My prince? Yes. Can that be possible? Of course. Nothing is impossible in science and before God. Huh? My dear, you can let her come in. The princess has asked for her. My God, you were so funny. Why would you say that? My princess, like seriously. I think you're wasting your time playing the good girl with Prince Aaron. Because for all we know, he could be somewhere with some other woman as we speak. My princess, do you mind excusing your maidens for a while? You know, most conversations should be discussed in private. Chibi, you and Ajara are a part of me. 
There's nothing you would say that you don't know about me. Uh-uh. I think Inipi is right, because I don't want to be gossiped about. And that is something that Hayat helps do very well. Chibi, Yes, precious. And, uh, excuse us. <laughs> now I can talk freely. Now tell me, my princess, when was the last time you visited Prince Arame in the city? Um, that was a couple of months back. <laughs> Why is that so? You know, since things began to dwindle between us, he hasn't really encouraged me to visit. You don't have to wait for him to ask you to visit. Let's pack a few things and make him a surprise visit. But I... <laughs> it's a way to know when a man likes you or doesn't. It's an opportunity to know what he does behind you. It's not like I haven't thought about it, but I'm just being cautious. Cautious of what? <sighs> See, for Christ's sake, I am a princess. I cannot go to visit the prince without his parents or my parents being in the know of it. Princess Ojime is your friend. You're a very good friend at that. She'll support you. And the queen would embrace any opportunity to get you and her son closer. Aren't you aware that they want this marriage to work even more than you do? Huh? Okay. I'll think about it. You don't need to think about it. You need to act. And now. You don't need his permission to come to his house. Okay? Mother, I can actually call my brother right now. No, 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 you don't need to do that. You see, I love the element of surprise. Just get ready to go with her, okay? <laughs> Norma? Yes, Majesty. Do you see anything wrong in this arrangement? No, 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 Majesty. I don't see anything wrong with it. Well, then, it's well agreed. So, get ready. Hey yo. Yes, Your Majesty. I'll call your parents on phone since they are not yet back from their overseas trip. Okay? Very well then, Your Majesty. It's okay. Where are we? In the middle of nowhere. Why are we here? Honestly, I don't know. I just don't know. Maybe just to cool our heads or something. I don't know. My friends, don't worry. I'll be fine. Huh? I've been living with this for, for a very long time. You know, I... I feel terribly shattered. Please don't. You have done more than enough. Huh? The rest is left for God like the doctor said, but nothing would give me more joy than to see your face. The face of the man that has given me life, that gave me a reason to live and a hope in a better tomorrow. <sighs> you know, there's, there's just something about you I, I just can't fathom yet. It will happen again, alright? I promise it will happen again. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. So, how are you feeling now? What's that? That must be the print. The print, yeah. Hello, Ajuma. You're welcome, sir. Yeah. How are you, Maria? Uh, Roma is not back, right? Yes, sir. That's all right. I actually came to see Malia. In that case, I'll excuse you. Very well. Malia. Sir. I want us to have a talk. Because you seem to see me as an enemy. That's not true, sir. It's okay. That's it. All right. said that, sir. Rather, I think it's you who doesn't like me. Mm -mm. How wouldn't I like a pretty girl like you? you know? yeah, sir, like you. please. I, I, I don't like this. Oh, Malia, I'm only trying to be a friend. Oh, don't you want us to be friends? I do, sir. I do. Good. One of these days I'm going to come and take you out. Has anyone ever told you how it is? You just did, sir. Thank you. Good. I think you're gonna make a good wife. Yes. And I want you to understand that I have good intentions towards you. But you must not let Aroma know of my intentions towards you. Um, maybe later I will tell him. You understand? So we'll have to consider our discussions from him because I know that he's so much concerned about his love for Princess Emily. Get it? I understand, sir. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. You don't need to worry about it. What a journey. Oh. You're welcome, my princess. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, have I met you before? No, my princess. I'm newly employed. Oh, very well. Is my brother in? No, he's not. 
Erako, his friend, is in. And Malia. Malia? Who is Malia? We'll find out. Meanwhile, I need to see Akko. It's been a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What well the? Shall we? All right, sure. Sir, please, I, I, I don't like the way you're I'm only being, being friendly and getting more acquainted with you now. Mm. It's okay. All right? Please, I respect yourself. It's okay. Oh my god! Princess Ojime and Princess Ellen. What a pleasant surprise! Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm. You're Thank highly you. welcome. Mm. Mm. You're mm. Man, you're welcome. You're yeah, welcome. how are you? Yes, um, I'm okay. And, uh, and you? I'm fine. Yes, I can see. Hey, yes. So, um, so nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you tell me you were coming? It was meant to be a surprise. Are you not happy to see us? Well, of course I am happy, but at least you, you should have called me to inform me. Well, I'm sorry. It was actually my idea to surprise you. Oh yes, I'm truly surprised. And you're how are you? I'm fine. Just the way you left me. Well, I wouldn't know the way I left you. But I definitely know the way you embarrassed me with your lover the last time I visited. Uh, Arame, this is not the kind of talk I would expect from you. Prince Arame, I know the incident was really embarrassing, but you wouldn't give me the opportunity to explain myself properly. Arame, can we change this line of argument before it turns into something else? Excuse me. I've lost him. How would you say that? Isn't it very apparent that I'm not welcomed here? Isn't it? My prince, you're not saying anything. I do not know where to begin. How do you mean, my prince? You, you know it's Benio that came with my sister, don't you? I do, my prince, and I've been so bothered because she was really curious about me, but your sister was friendly. I never invited her. Neither did I know they were coming. I understand, my prince. Don't let their presence bother you. I give you my word. First thing tomorrow morning, they will leave. My prince, Am I coming between you and her? Oh, 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 no, no. Not at all. No. Actually, I've made up my mind not to have anything to do with her again. And nobody can change my mind. My prince, I'm suddenly uncomfortable. You shouldn't be. My prince, wouldn't they feel that your change of heart has to do with me? At this point, I don't care what anybody feels anymore. I will not be forced into a marriage that will make me unhappy. Never. All right, my prince, but you must have to think about your reputation and the happiness of your parents. Malia. My prince. My only happiness right now is to see you happy. That's all that matters. Thank you, my prince. Thank you. It's all right. For some reason, I don't like her. Mm. Yes. What? 
I don't like her behaviors. <coughs> my princess. My princess. And what is the topic of our little chatter? Nothing, my princess. Is dinner ready? Yes, my princess, and it will soon be served. Hmm. Good. Um, actually, that is not why I came. I have seen that both of you are efficient, and I must commend you. I'm really impressed on how you are taking care of my roommate. We are honored, my princess. Um, needless to say, much. I'm sure both of you know that we will soon be getting married. Yes, my princess. I like both of you. And I will insist that you be part of my new domestic staff. That would be a great honor, my princess. We'll be obliged to serve you, my princess. Tell me, who is this Malia girl to the prince? Malia is a poor girl whom the prince took like into and wants to help. Mm, I see. <laughs> and she actually lives here as if she's a princess. My princess, I believe you have been misinformed. Malia is harmless and a very charming person. <laughs> that means she charmed her way into Prince Arume's heart, isn't it? My God, my princess, Prince Arome is a perfect gentleman. You should be proud of him. Inside every perfect gentleman lies an animal. Except his interest is not a I like you. I like you too. Where exactly are you from? I'm from the Kinanoko government of the state and I must say that I'm most honored sitting with a princess. But you live with my brother, a prince. Yeah, I know, but it's not the same as sitting here with you because I'm not as free as I am with you right now. You know your brother is a very kind-hearted person. I don't fail to ask God to bless him each time I go on my knees for prayers. If everyone is like him, the world would be a better place. He likes you too, I presume. I know, but I supposed it's out of pity. Just the same way he would have liked any other person in my shoes. You're trying to tell me you have nothing with him. Something like what? Come on. My brother is a man and of course you desire the companion of a woman. I see absolutely nothing wrong with that. Princess Ojima, I am sorry to say that you do not even know your brother. You do not know him and I do not wish to discuss the prince in this regard. This is total disrespect to his name. I'm sorry. This is dishonor. Maybe I misread what I saw in his eyes when he was staring at you. What I presumed you saw was respect. You know your brother has equal respect for everyone regardless of the fact that he's a royal prince. Yeah. That's my brother for you. See, being a prince means absolutely nothing to him. He sees it as a privilege which he never abuses. Yeah, and I suppose you must be really proud of him. But I must confess, I find you really interesting too. Though Princess Ayo is fierce. <laughs> she doesn't understand what my brother is doing with you. And, and that's the part that really bothers me, okay? Because I, I do not want anything to come in between them. 
the happiness of the prince, it's my priority. And the prince seemed really, really lonely. And I do not like that. Maybe I'm wrong after all. Wrong about what? My brother and princess, Ayo. You see, I grew up believing that you know, they are both meant to be together, but it doesn't, it doesn't seem so anymore. It doesn't. That's so sad. chased me out of his room as if I am some cheap part. Why would he do that? Isn't it? He has something to do with that girl. That's why he doesn't want me. You know what? We'll leave tomorrow. <laughs> Is that all you're going to say to me? What else do you want me to say? All right, all right, fine. If Arume wants to disgrace me, fine. But I'm definitely not going to live here without a fight. Definitely not gonna. Hey, 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 come. Don't do something foolish, okay? I'm going to look for that girl. Hey, come back. Oh, God. Don't do anything that will complicate things <sighs> more, okay? Just. Let me try some of this, okay? Just let him handle it. Okay. Sit down. She comes to say one thing or the other again. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, Johnny and Chidi, how are you? Fine, thank you. That girl is just a busybody. Hey, honestly, I don't even know what her interest is in this matter. What else? Can't be in everybody's. Are you not saying she and her fellow? Follow, follow. Yeah. Follow our society. Mm -hmm. How was your trip to the city? Hope it went well. Oh, it didn't go well. There seems to be crisis in the palace right now. Why? Something to do with a girl, Princess Ayo, met at Prince Arame's house. <laughs> I said it. Prince Arame has a lover in the city. Anyway, let's go in and discover what happened. I said it. Prince Arame is a gentleman. How about
demand to see you as soon as possible. So drop whatever you're doing and return home. The issue of you and Enyo has lingered for so long. Needless to say, you failed to realize the consequences of not settling down on time. Yes, Father. Good. I await your return with a reasonable explanation on how you decided to embarrass me. Let me speak with you. Arome. Mother. You betrayed your father. You are a complete disgrace to this family. You are such a miracle. Please allow him to come first before you start your problems. Will you? I hope all is well. Yes, yes, all is well. Just, just my parents trying to live my life for me. I'll be traveling. Cancel all my appointments till I return. Maria, I would like to have a word with you. Princess Anya, nothing has gone wrong from what you just narrated. Except you have decided to give up. I suggest you relax. And have your phone. I mean, what's meant to be, it's meant to be. I'm tired. I'm tired. That's just the truth. One, one shouldn't ever get tired, except death takes us away. She's right. Life is a continuous battle. Okay, we have challenges. We win some and we lose some. I just, I just want everybody to be happy. I just, I just want peace to reign. Exactly the point I'm trying to make. If we keep grieving over nothing, I mean, it can only lead to heartbreaks. Princess Aya, can I talk to you in private? energy and yet so young. That's only for you. A friend you can never do without. Yeah, you can say that. It's true though. <sighs> Princess Anya, forgive me for asking you this, okay? What do you stand to lose by not marrying Prince Arumi? Nothing. Nothing other than not being the queen. But you're a queen already. I mean, by virtue of being born into a royal family, you're exceptionally different from people like us. I don't think that you need all this stress. You don't. Yeah. You're correct. I'm sick. Sick and tired of trying to please a man who doesn't even want me. Then liberate yourself from the self chosen torture. Be happy. Let me ask you this Do you love Prince Arome? Do you? Um, well, I. Talk to me. 
It may not be love. People like us don't marry for love, but to satisfy our expectations. Forget about people's expectations of you. Seek for happiness. Just be happy. Princess Henry, don't you have a man in your life? A man that can make you happy? Huh? I'm only trying to satisfy the desires of my parents and also not to disappoint the queen. Who wishes for me to settle down with her son? The queen is not the one being hurt. Let me tell you, I don't see an atom of sympathy from Princess Hojime anymore. She doesn't even care if her brother marries you or not. Yeah. That's true. I've noticed she's changed lately. She seems unconcerned, unlike before. And that is because deep down, she wants the best for her brother. And the best as it is, is ignore them, be happy, just live your life. And if Prince Romy comes back from his headedness, he will come with some respect. <sighs> and not you flaunting yourself at him to be rejected. I don't think that's the best. Yeah, you're correct. Very correct. I am not a cheap person. And I will not allow myself to be cheapened. without praying to God to grant you good health. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yes. <laughs> Your Majesty, this is my friend Inibi. Inibi, nice to meet you. Nice Are you from this town? Yes, I am, Your Majesty. I'm really excited to meet you in person. <laughs> She's excited, Your Majesty. <laughs> you know, my palace is open to all. And I'm happy that my daughter finally has found friends she can play with. Most times she's so lonely. Yes, father, it's true. You see, I've found a good friend in LA. Sometimes I feel like I've known her for like forever. Oh my god. I feel so too. Yeah. There's this charm about her that one cannot help but appreciate her. <laughs> Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Father. Well, I hope you're fine. I'm good. Yeah. I'm all fine. Your Majesty, so how are you feeling now? I thank God for everything. Oh, good. that means my prayer is working. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, nice. You're so thank you, Father. <laughs> Missed you so much. Missed you too. 
Um, sir, where did you park your car? I didn't see it outside. Oh, I parked outside because I don't know if your know, Prince Charming is coming again. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that nasty incident. I know I haven't had time to apologize to you, but come here. I'll make it up to you. Believe me. No problem. I'm so happy to see you complaining. <laughs> um, I don't want any disturbance, okay? Except maybe something very important that both of you can all handle comfortable. Do you understand? Okay, let's go. Let me show you how much of this <laughs> do you think that her marriage to Prince Arume will ever come to a reality? I doubt. Even if the prince was willing, which obviously he's not. My dear. My sister will still catch up with them. Like um, I told you girls earlier, this community is naturally endowed with all kinds of historical, you know, topics. And if we start to talk about it from now till evening time, we won't be able to, you know. But um. <laughs> My sweet sister, how are you? Fine. Good, good to see you. Mm. How are you, father? Uh, God has kept me alive, my son. You're welcome. Good Thank you. you. Good to see you, father. <laughs> and, uh, well, I, I didn't know you, you visited the palace. I, I, <laughs> it's all right. Sit, sit, sit. sit. You didn't tell me you met my brother. <laughs> uh, it's all right. Maybe, maybe if she, uh, maybe she forgot. Yes. <laughs> maybe. Where's mother? In the side. Son, you just arrived. Sit down. Your mother will soon be with us. Um, Your Majesty, <laughs> we will wait outside while you. Um. Meanwhile, I would like to hear the rest of the story. Most definitely. You're such a keen listener and you ask very smart questions. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, my friend, I hope I'll be opportune to chat with you sometime. I, 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 I hope so too. <laughs> Thank you. Hope you know I'm not happy with you. Oh, yes, I know. We'll sort out our differences later. Huh? Okay. Okay, Father, I am here, and I am at the governor. <laughs> the best girl. You're yeah, the best. That's why I like you. Very sure. Very nice. I like it. <laughs> Love to you, dude. <sighs> Managed to spend the whole day without disturbance. Who will this be? The house is your friend's. Didn't you say he was coming to see his parents? Do you think if he's the one calling me, that I'll take his call? Then I'll wait to see if you're truly done with him. If not for whatever foolish arrangement my parents had with them, believe me. What would I be doing with a man who doesn't even excite me? Baby, take your call. It might be your parents. No, it is not. Hi, Ella. <laughs> My sweet princess. How are you? 
I'm fine, very fine. How about you? I'm good. Well, I just called you to know how you're faring because you left the palace angry. Um, I took your advice and <laughs> trust me, I must say, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Is this still there? <laughs> yeah, sure. To tomorrow, even. <laughs> That's good. You know you deserve only the best. You deserve all the happiness in the world. No man has the right to make a woman like you sad. I mean, it shouldn't happen. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. You're the best. Oh. Let me leave you to have your fun, okay? Okay, so we see you tomorrow then, right? Oh, definitely. <laughs> Baby, who was that? A friend. Ellie. Yeah, I met her true princess, Ojime. She's very smart and very interesting. I like her. <clears throat> what is it? Is, is there a problem? No, <laughs> not at all. The Ella I know doesn't know Princess Ojime. Anyway, don't bother. I thought it was someone I know. All right then, so back to business. Come here. I'll give it to you. Come here. <laughs> You're not, mm -hmm. you not telling me what happened. Mommy, you always want to know everything. Of course. I am your mother and I want the best for you. Eh? Uh, moreover, I can always advise you where I think you're going wrong or what you're not handling well. Well, so far so good. <laughs> but one thing is certain. Enyo is slowly going out of the picture. Good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just called her now. She's with Akko. Let's take it one at a time. You went to the palace. Uh, did you meet with the prince? What was his reaction when he saw you? Well, he was surprised when he saw me at the palace with the king and Ojime. But he behaved well. He didn't ask any unnecessary questions. What else? Nothing else. He, we didn't get to see him when we were leaving. Don't worry, very soon, he'll be looking for a decent girl to marry. Hmm? The king and the queen will remember you. Hmm. And everything will come to pass as I have always dreamt of a very good life for my daughter. Oh, <laughs> mm. I'm not very happy. Do you know, as we speak, Aku is sleeping with Enyo. It means he's, he used me and dumped me. My daughter, why do you underestimate your mother? Hmm? We might not be rich and famous, but Nothing is beyond me. I could be humiliated and disgraced as soon as you get married to the prince. Don't worry. Mommy, I'm hurting. You shouldn't. Eh? You can let her have him for now. Let us concentrate on the prince. Huh? <laughs> Arame, yes, Father. We have talked about your business and other matters that concern the family and the land. What we haven't talked about is the future, because the future is you and your sister. So tell me, my son, who do you live with in the city? <clears throat> Father, I live with my house helps, and. 
A young lady I chose to help. A prostitute, you mean? Mother Ochamalia is not a prostitute. I will not take it if you call her that. Who is Ochamalia and what is she to you? Like I said before, Father, she is a young lady I took pity on and I decided to help. Why have you sworn to disgrace and embarrass your father and I? Mother. What sin did we commit against you that you've made up your mind to spoil your father's good name? Mother, I have lived an exemplary life to the best of my abilities and so far, I have not soiled my father's name. So why don't you live in the city with a prostitute rather than the one we chose for you? Jesus, Mother. Mother, I am trying so hard to control myself. I beg you in God's name, do not call her that. She is not a prostitute. And really, I don't understand this. Why has nobody chosen to, to, to respect me and consider my future? Why am I being forced to marry this lady? Why? Did you say forced? Your father's choice for a wife is forced? Who are you to say such a thing? And what future are you talking of? Well, let me remind you, mother, just in case you have forgotten, I am a prince, Prince Arome, son of King Oboni, and by God's grace, heir to the throne of this kingdom. Tell me, my son, tell me one good reason why you despise Princess Enyo. <sighs> Father, I do not despise her. Truth is, she has no place in my heart or my life. You lie. Arome, you lie. She is our choice. You must marry her. You don't have any choice here. Arome, is this your decision? Why ask him such question? As if he has the power to change our decision right from when he was young. With due respect, mother. Your place in this palace is by my father's side. You have no right, I repeat, you have no right whatsoever to decide the future of this land. I decide my fate and what is good for me, and therefore, I am the future of this land. Did you, honey, did you hear that? How dare you speak to me in that manner? Oh, I will speak to you however I like. What are you saying? No. My brother has a right to choose who he will spend the rest of his life with. Do you even know Enyo? How sure are you that she lost my brother? Is this a conspiracy or something? Uneko, sit down. Arame, sit down. Arame, I respect the fact that you have a choice in this matter. Therefore, my son, I ask you, have you made up your mind? Yes, father. I will not marry Princess Enya. This woman that lives with you in the city, where is she from? She's from this land, father. I would like to see her. I don't even know where to start from. It's not from anywhere. <laughs> the story is so funny. Mm. By the time I finish telling you the story, okay. <laughs> Mali, you are at this your shop years. What have you had again? I drove my car. A car just drove in. But we're not expecting the prince to come back this soon. Are you serious? Yes. Did you want to tell me? Mali, I'll take you down, okay? Good night. Hello, oh, sir. Good evening. How about you? Awesome. Welcome. Yes. Well, I'm here to check on Maria. As I promised Prince Aruma that I'm going to keep an eye on her. You're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. But Jamalia, are you alright? You look so quiet. I'm fine. Good okay. evening, sir. <laughs> she thought it was Prince Aruma. I understand. Well done. I'll return to my quarters. Since you're here now. That will be fine. 
Well, it's going to be very safe with me. Hello, sir. Good night, sir. Good night. Malia? Good night, Adjuma. Malia, are you sure you're all right? You look so quiet. I'll tell them. Why did you behave as if I was welcomed? I didn't say so, sir. You didn't say so? Now, um, why do you reject me? I'm only trying to be a friend. And who am I to reject you, sir? Listen, regardless of whatever impression, <laughs> Prince Saruman must have credited to you. He was a marry. Now tell me, where would I leave you? you know, don't you realize that I'm willing to take you in? Perhaps even marry you? Oh, please, stop it, sir. Stop it. <laughs> How then do I marry you? Why are you not even willing to allow me to touch you? It's a pity you can't see my face and realize that I mean well, you know. I can hear your voice, sir. Yeah, of course I know you can hear my voice, so that is what I want to. Oh, sir, please. Sir, if you touch me again, I'll scream. I I I'll scream more. You're gonna scream, right? You're gonna scream, right? Sir, stop it! You're gonna scream, right? your journey sir oh good good okay. it was okay did, did anyone come to look for me in my absence yeah Akko was here last night Akko. yes sir last night yes sir okay anyone else no sir all right Crime? I, I do not know of any evil crime, my prince. Did Ago come here last night or not? My prince. Yes, he was. And what did he do to you? Please, you just have to forgive me, please. I I'm really sorry. It was Ajuma who said that we shouldn't tell you in order not to get you upset and at the same time affect your friendship with Ako. Why? Why would Ako want to take advantage of your blindness? Why would he be so wicked? Why? My prince, I'm sorry. He, he wanted to rape me and then I, I, I ran into the room and, and locked up myself. Huh? Oh God. Oh, thank God it didn't happen. Thank God it didn't happen. I, I wouldn't have been able to forgive myself if it did. Believe in you. My friends. Oh. My friends, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I'm so sorry. It won't happen again. I'll always be here to protect you. Alright? I'm sorry. My prince? Yes, yeah, speak. Speak, my dear. Your voice is like a soothing balm. My prince, can I, can I ask you? Oh, anything. Go ahead. Anything you want, just ask. Please, I beg of you. Just forgive him. Forgive Akko, okay? 
I, I think it's, it, it's the handiwork of the devil, my friends. Please. Please. My friends, or as, as my voice lost its, its soothing effect, like you said. It's the soothing effect that now scares me. How do you mean? Oh, yes. I just made you a promise which I am not so sure I can fulfill. It is cowardly for me not to confront the forces that want to destroy me. My prince, I grant you that. But I beg of you, in doing that, you, you have to be wise. Huh? You have to be wise, my prince. Your presence, but I wasn't sure. I know from the very first day I saw you. Something about you aroused my interest. And since that day, I've been searching my heart for what that thing is. But finally, tonight, I think I have a name for it. What's the name called, my friends? Love. Oh, yes. It's called love. But, but, but do not be afraid. I have not come to deceive you or to hurt you. I have come to love you. My friends, my fear is not being deceived, but rather my fear is about me betraying my feelings because I've actually felt the same way from the second time I met you. We feel for each other.
my friends. I'm so tensed. Yeah, I know, but just calm. Hmm? Okay. All right, my friends, thank you. You'll be fine. Oh, my lovely sister, how are you? I'm fine. Good. Molly, you're welcome. Oh, Princess Ojima. Nice to see you again. Oh well, yeah, my brother's choice, so you have my support. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Princess Ojima. I told you. <laughs> Bring her in. Alright, follow. When she gets here, I will lead you to her. You kneel before her, not looking at her, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and receive her blessing. Okay? Mm -hmm. And one more thing. I don't think you're doing badly. Mm -hmm. Smile. Smile. Good. Okay, here she comes. Mother, how are you? I'm fine. Welcome. Good. Welcome, my prince. Thank you. Thank you. Come and meet my mother, the Queen. May your days be long, your royal majesty. Rise, Ajamalia. Welcome to this palace. Thank you, your majesty. I appreciate you welcoming me into your royal palace, bearing in mind that I am not of a noble background, Your Majesty. You've spoken well. Perhaps I should reverse my initial impression of you. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Thank you. Take her to your father. He's eager to meet her. Thank you, Mother. And, and she? Oh, forgive me, Mother. She is Ajuma, Malia's personal maid. Your Majesty, the Queen, I'm honored to be before you. You're welcome. Thank you. Nama is my personal assistant. She makes you comfortable, okay? Thank you, Your Majesty. Ah. Come, Ele. Let's go with the You're welcome. It's okay. Let's go. Thank you. You have a call. Mm. Hello, girlfriend. Hello. Princess Enyo, are you alone? No. Is there anything wrong? I want to speak to you alone. Um, Nako, excuse me. Huh? I remember. What is it? Prince Arome came back with that girl you saw in the city. Oh, really? <laughs> That's nice. I'm having fun. So much fun. You don't understand. He brought her back to introduce her to his parents as his intended bride. <laughs> See, the queen wants me to marry Arome more than I want to marry him. So you know what that means? It's not going to work. 
Not when he has convinced them that he's no longer keen on you. Think for once, Princess Enyo. If they have not welcomed that girl into the palace, or even given their consent, will she be coming? You mean the queen received her? Who else would receive her? It's the queen, of course. And Princess Ojime was there? No. She will hang herself with a rope because her brother rejected you. Princess Enyo, Ojime will stand by her brother anytime, any day. But, but I... But what? If you were in her shoes, won't you do the same thing? Huh? Well, yes, I would do the same. Good. Now the question is, will you allow this to happen? After being dragged up and down, humiliated, belittled like a commoner, will you? God, I'm, I'm so confused right now. I can't even think. You can! Just keep your confusion one side and act now, act wisely. Are you not your father's daughter? Are you not a princess? Princess Enyo, I am so angry on your behalf right now that I can't even continue this conversation. Eh? Let's talk later, okay? Let's talk later. <laughs> that was an excellent performance. <laughs> That's my beloved daughter in whom I am well Please. <laughs> <laughs> Unoka's daughter will not only be disgraced out of this village, but she will find no other place in this community to hide her shameless face. Never. Never will someone who is already dead continue to torment me. Never. 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 That cannot be possible. Our daughter will be celebrated, not her. Ojamaya will regret ever crossing my path. Yes, she will. She will. Chai. Don't worry. Don't worry, my good friend. Oh, I am by your side. As Even if it means myself going to her grave in the midnight to chain her and plant Abos leaf. I will do that. Abos. 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 It drives away Abos. evil spirits. Abos. Yes. I wonder who you will be waiting for now. Hey, I'll do it. Hey, boy. I don't know why I'm this hungry. Why would you be hungry when you're in my house? Let's go to the kitchen. Hey, I trust you. You didn't push me today. Come on, my princess. What is the matter? You're not talking to me. Maybe I'm not in the mood to talk right now. No. I insist you tell me what that call is all about. And if I don't? <laughs> well, if you insist not to talk about it, fine. I'm a new I'm a game card to suck a lover I'm a game card to say oh oh I'm a game card to such a I'm a game card to such a yeah Sorry Sorry I didn't mean to be harsh on you It's just that you won't understand It's a woman's thing You don't need to bother yourself Chima 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 I'm just supposed to be happy That's all I am happy. I am. But what you would do for me is you have to stay away from me right now until I am in a better frame of mind. Hmm? If that is your wish. Fine. It is my wish. I hope you understand. Yeah.
necklace of gold. You indeed shine like one. I'm honored, Your Majesty. Gold is something not everyone can afford. Therefore, I will say, Arome, you're welcome. You bought well. Thank you, Father. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Your Majesty. Thank you. You're welcome, my daughter. The palace is big for all. Therefore, I know your stay here will not be boring. Yes, Your Majesty. Prince Arame told me that no one knows the history of our people better than you do. It would be my honor if you educate me some more, Your Majesty. Interesting. It's been long I heard a young woman keen on knowing the history of our people. Shows you will be an advocate of culture and tradition. Nothing will give me more pleasure than to contribute to the culture of our people and also to uphold our forgotten cultures due to the influence of other cultures, Your Majesty. Wow, Dr. Mali, I, I marveled. I didn't know you were this rooted. I am an only child, though a woman, but I know that if my parents were to be alive today, God would have given them a male child. And in absence of that, I am representing them in all capacities, Your Majesty. That is most interesting, my daughter. So long as you remain on the side of my son, the dream will be actualized. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, my phone is on vibration. I can't speak it before the pen. I have to thank you. I just got to thank you for all you've been doing for us. Thank you, Ma. My family owes you a great deal. You were there for us when we needed your help. Well, it is good to be good. When I helped your mother, I didn't even know where she came from. Not knowing that one day I will need her help. <laughs> so thanks for remembering. Say oh no. It's okay. There's something I wanted to do. I wanted to let the king and the queen know that the young girl, Prince Arome, brought home. Ah, it's a witch. Her mother died crippled as a witch. She too became blind out of her witchcraft. Is she blind? You mean you don't know? No, nobody seems to know. Okay, don't worry. Eventually everybody will know. Anyway, just let the queen know that the mother died crippled as a witch and that the girl herself became mysteriously blind out of her wickedness. God forbid, such a person must not be allowed to trick herself into the palace. Oh, anyway, you owe it as a duty to let the queen know that so that they will not make mistakes that will be too hard to correct. I will, I will immediately. Good. Let me leave you to do your job. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> you don't need to be troubled unless you don't trust your mother again. <laughs> Mommy! But you are actually not <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> so, she recorded it. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm listening. I gave it to the man's wife. Okay. And they're divorced. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Like, like she, she saw what he did with the, the yeah. lady. That's Enyo. I told you about the presentation. This is Enyo. You didn't call that you were coming. And what difference does it make, Princess Ojime? 
Why are you sounding like this? Is there a problem? The problem is, my true friends are few. But my enemies, those who wish me to be humiliated, are plenty. Why are you speaking in riddles? I didn't come to see you, Princess Ojime. Excuse me, please. <laughs> Princess Enyo. How are you? Me? Me? Oh, beautiful. How are you? Not fine. Oh, not fine? And what could be troubling a very energetic, pretty, mannerless princess like you? Prince Arume, can I speak with you privately, please? Oh, of course. Of course, but you just have to wait. Because as you can see, and I know you're not blind, I'm having a very interesting discussion with my sister here and Malia. Prince Arume, can I have a word with you right now, else I end up creating a sin? What? How dare you speak to my brother in that manner? And how dare you talk to me like that? She has every right to speak to her intended husband anyhow she wishes. Mother, did you just say that? You called me mother. So you still know that I am your mother. And that shows that this spell cast on you is not that deep. That you could still be saved. Mother, what are you talking about? You will soon find out. Arome, your father wishes to speak with you at once. And I mean right now. Good day, Your Majesty. Hey, yo. Sorry. I didn't recognize your presence. Maybe I'm also being bewitched. <laughs> Mother, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, it's okay, don't, don't let whatever happen here bother you. Okay, you'll be fine. And I'm with you. Okay. Hey, take good care of her. Okay? Stay with her, Ajoma. Why didn't you tell us? You thought she would bewitch us the way she has bewitched you? Is that what you thought? With all due respect, Mother, you are not talking to a child. I am the heir to the throne. No, you are not. Except I approve of that. Well, I am my father's son. You will cease to be my son if you do not remove that girl who is so cunningly charming out of my palace this moment. Father! You heard me. We conceived of you marrying a woman of your choice and not to bring in a wretched, miserable girl that had misfortune, follows her around like leprosy everywhere she goes. Father! Okay, Father. If it is your wish that she leaves this palace, fine! But I leave with her this minute. You are a fool! No son of mine would do that! Your Highness, my love, it's your Highness. My son is foolish with foolishness. Someone help me. Get me the doctor. Get the doctor for me. Maria, come, 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 come. come. My prince. We really need this palace this morning. What's going on? Bro, you ask your mother. Who has refused to let peace reign here? Let's go. My, my prince, it's your mom you speak of. What's this? The king is taking ill. I need the prince doctor. Oh my god. Let's go. No, 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 no. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. My, my prince, it, it's your dad that's talking about Yes, the... I don't care. He has a wife, a daughter, and several other maids and servants to take care of him. So I say, we go now. Let's go. My, my, my prince. Yes, yes, let's go. Let's go. Oh, this is for Jimmy. 
I don't understand. All of a sudden, everything almost became fatal. My father suddenly took ill. Do he's stubborn now, you know, um, the, the palace doctor took care of him. How did this happen? I don't know. Yeah, um, Arame came in with his bride. Everything was going well. Enyo came. Everything went wrong. How? How do you mean? She, she, she became abusive and rude. Apparently someone tipped her off that Arame was back. But then his, my mother just came out. I was talking about witchcraft. Huh. <laughs> I still don't get this. Okay. My mother must have heard from someone that um, Malia, that's Arame's bride, was blind. Uh, and, and has a dark past. <laughs> My God. What will Prince Arame be doing with a girl who has a dark past? Yuck. Blind. Just an accusation. She looks innocent to me. Ain't you aware that most evil-minded people have innocent looks? Huh? She's not evil. But she's blind. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's amazing because I didn't even know at first. Yeah. Are you supporting the prince to get married to a blind girl? The future queen? Are you? That was what led to the fracas. You know, my father asked him to send Malia away. Or, or leave the palace. He chose to leave the palace. What? Yeah. And you say he's not bewitched or charmed? He's not. Like seriously? He's not. He is. Yeah, he is. My princess. Yeah. I thought you were with the king. Prince Arame has been calling. Arame. Thank you. Arame. Arame, thank God you called. Where are you? How is Malia? She looked devastated to me. What? Why? Just give up the phone. I, I can hear her voice. Mr. Jimmy, I'm sorry for everything. Tell your brother to return home. I don't want it again. I'm tired of being labeled a bad person just because I'm a poor man girl. Why are you talking like this? I'll kill myself, I swear. Let him leave me to return to my poor background. I don't want any problem. Listen, relax. Uh, my father is fine now. Don't worry, everything will be fine, okay? Why are you in I'll try, I promise. Okay, just be with the phone. Thank you. I need to be with my father. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I ran as fast as my legs could carry me when I heard the news. But I'm so glad that the king is fine now. Ah, Ellie, thank you so much. God is wonderful. My husband nearly had a heart attack. God forbid! It is that person that they said that caused this problem that will have a heart attack. Ellie! Eh? You have begun again. Begun what? Keep supporting your brother. Perhaps the spell they cast on him is equally working on you. Yeah, I'm very sure. Anyo. This is a family discussion and has nothing to do with you. And I am part of this family. She's right. Well, I see no reason why I should battle words with you. Excuse me, I would love to see my father. Just make sure you don't wake him. Shall we? Really, man? Yes, Father. Have you heard from your brother? Yes, I have, Father. 
Perhaps I was too harsh on you. And that young woman. I was angry. Father. You have always taught me to be patient and fair in judging people. Yes, that is very correct. But please ask your brother to return home. He will not. But I know someone who can convince him to. Oh, Jamalia? Yes, father. And she wants to speak with you. Let me talk to her. Jamalia. Our God is a merciful God. He has kept me alive. Please go ahead. so that I may bless you before I join my ancestors. You must not talk to that wretch. She wants to cast a spell on you. How? That was rude, woman. However, I have asked Arome to bring home his bride. Not in this house. Not in this palace. You can't... Give me that phone. It's still like that. I am still the king and the head of this palace. How dare you question my authority? If I die now, what else? The throne will go to another family. Why don't you allow Arome to marry whom he chooses? You're right. That which seems not to have a, a solution always has a solution. Mm -hmm. I must tell you the truth. This time, I ran short of ideas. <laughs> it doesn't happen often. <laughs> what Inikbe said does make sense. There is nothing on those parts that has no solution. Chogu, you know the last resort. What is the last resort? What is the last resort? Because I am tired of hearing ideas that do not work. I am tired. Hele, maybe you have one that you have not told us. Why don't you release it? I am going to do that thing that has always been in my mind. Regardless of, of the consequences, I will do it. Which is? Simple. Have you physically squeeze the life out of that girl? Because if I cannot have the prince, she will never live to have that prince. I want her dead. That is how much I hate her. <laughs> okay. You can actually kill. 
kill her without being physically involved. I have sold my soul to the devil. Then I have gone to do. Then I must find something to keep me busy and give me pleasure as well. You're so difficult. You're so difficult to understand. I mean, what could that be? Because Malia is already settled firmly in the palace. No, she hasn't. She has not. I'll only wait for a while, and if nothing happens to her, I will find a way to get rid of her. <laughs> I thought the side was meant to prevent her from getting married to the prince. But now, the story is history. Yes, she has taken the prince. But the question is, can she kill him? No. We'll live to fight another day. We'll live to fight another day. I suggest you leave this battle. Leave this battle. Maybe for now. But that is why I am gearing up for another battle. Because life is full of challenges. And it's a part of who we are. My dear Ellie, for the little trust you have in me, can you please intimate me on what this new battle is all about? <laughs> to possess my possessions. <laughs> possess your possessions? What's that? <laughs> Laugh if you must. Akum is still mine. I only left him for a while for that foolish princess Enya to toy with him. But it's time to reclaim him. Did you think for a second I was going to remain without a husband? Hmm? But rumor has it. Rumor has it that they're planning to get married now that the princess has lost to Prince Arume. Planning, you said. Hmm? That is if I give my consent. My parents are coming back home after a long stay abroad. I'm going to put final touches to my wedding plans with Aku. I lost her. <laughs> my princess. And you're happy with Aku? Yeah, I've always liked Aku. I, I've, I've, I've never been in love with Arume. You think I, I was in love with Arume? No, I wasn't. It's, it's Aku I love. You know, he's so easy to manipulate like a child. <laughs> well, I'm happy for you. The most important thing is getting married for love. Yeah, okay. Ella, are you alright? You haven't been talking. I've been quiet because I feel I've not been fair to you as a good friend. How do you mean? Aku was and still is my lover. <laughs> you just get serious for once. My princess, I thought you knew. They're engaged to be married. No, tell me it's a joke. You're joking, right? Same question I asked myself. Why? Why did I allow you to get carried away? Why didn't I tell you the truth? Aku. No. Not my Aku. He's a complete gentleman. The only thing that is gentle about Aku is a state trust into women. I have dated Aku since my junior secondary school days. Yes. Why did I... Why did I allow this to happen again? What... What... What would I tell my parents? I hate men. 
I hate him. I hate all men. If I see him anywhere near me again, if I see him anywhere near here again or anywhere around me, I will humiliate him. Humiliate him so much before sending him away. Oh my God. My princess, you should hate Hako. He's not a good person. Oh. Oh God, no. Oh. Alright, man. You know, I'm happy we are gathered again together as a one happy family. As you can see, my days are numbered. You don't have to speak like that, Father. Oh! 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 Please go call the doctor. It usually comes in the morning and then leaves in the later. You mean morning sickness? I don't know, but I feel so faint. Hey! Don't you She is with the child. What? Stop panicking. You've put her in the family way. Only the doctor can take care of her. Nothing must happen to my grandchild. Okay, no. But I like that soup. You want to eat the soup again this night? Mommy, Daddy. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Mama. How are you? Welcome. Thank you. Daddy, you came home early today. I hope there is no problem. The king caught ill and he's critical. My God. He's been sick for a while. Mm. The last time I visited the palace, I noticed his complexion was really abnormal. You are right, yes. I told you. I we hope he survives because uh, we still need him in this town. He has done a lot for his people. Hey, he's a good man. That's so sad. Yeah. <laughs> yes, mom. Can I have a word with you? Sure. Thank you, sir. I'll just help her. You know how to do this? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, how was the day? Fine, thank you. I have a nice No, we just all. While we wait for the mysterious thing that will happen to Jamalia, I want us to use wisdom. Mommy, you keep talking about mysterious things, mysterious things, yet nothing happened. Malia still went ahead and married the prince. And we're still here talking about mysterious things. I want you to trust your mother. Everything I have done, I did because of you. Now it is time to change our approach. I want you to go to the palace and make peace with Oja Malia. Mommy, I can't go to the palace. Princess Ojime and the queen, they don't know I know Malia. And I am very sure that Prince Arome will not bring it up if, if I don't show up again. Please, mommy, let's not go there. That is why I said you have to go and ask Oja Malia to forgive you. She will just shut up and everything will become normal again. God forbid! I don't see myself ever begging Malia for forgiveness. <gasps> it's not possible, please. 
people cannot afford not to be friends with Ojime. Because if what I'm expecting to happen to Jamali happens, Prince Arome will definitely look for a shoulder to lean on. Talk to her. Let me talk to her, please. For the king's sake. Not any ill feelings towards you and your mother. I do not. I understand our mothers had a rivalry between them. But the truth is, it should not extend to the children. We are a different breed, a different generation, Eli. Huh? I cannot. I cannot, I cannot forgive myself for everything that I did to you. I cannot. I was, I was jealous of you because I wanted Prince Arumi. 
I wasn't using my head. I'm sorry, please. <laughs> Amy, if anyone should ask me today, where is your family? If it's you, I will call upon. Huh? <laughs> my husband understands everything. But you are family. You are my family. I have no other family except you, Eli. Huh? Thank you so much. Thank you. recognizes the touch of its mother. Hmm. <laughs> my friends. Yes, my love. Thank you so much. I really love you. You've given me happiness beyond my expectations. Thank you. Hmm. I love you too. I love you very much. In fact, I couldn't have asked God for a better wife. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just felt the baby kick again. Sure. Yeah. Shows it's going to be a boy. Hmm. And how are you sure it's going to be a boy when you don't even allow me to go for a scan? I don't know. I'm just so sure it's going to be a boy. And we will name him after my father. And what if it's a girl? We're going to name her after my mom. Fair enough. But one thing I know for sure is that this baby, this baby will know nothing but love. No place for hate. Exactly. <laughs> I love you. I love you, so. you I love you more. All right. I think we should return to the palace now. But you know what? After the king's final rites, when I become king, mm -hmm. I will come back here and build a home right here. So we can always come out and relax. With our baby. <laughs> yes, with our baby. Come on, let's go. I love you. I love you. What was that? Huh? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I, I don't know. Was it like 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 a strong strong wind or something? A very fast one. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. I think I'm fine. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I'm fine. Oh my. oh my god. 
Ini kan tidak aku. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. I will pay anything to know what you both were laughing about. <laughs> oh my gosh. Meet me. He wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh. Now, this isn't funny again. No, it's not. It's not funny. I mean, <laughs> Ako, when was the last time you parked in front of my house? When? Well, things went wrong. And I've learned my mistake. And I'm here to correct it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> Inibi, Mr. Darling, did you understand the word of what he just said? No idea if he was <laughs> French or. Dad! <laughs> <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> uh -huh. mm. I cool. I cool. Just have to look for some cheap village girl that you can convince. I am not your class anymore. <laughs> that was good. That's right. Oh my god. You're just a trier. I know it was not going to work. Good afternoon, mommy. Oh, mommy. Auntie, you're here. Yes, yes, yes. Uh. What is it? Why are your face is like this? Uh, it's mist. Mm. How? What? What mist? Prince mm. Romeo. They said he came back from a walk and suddenly couldn't talk again. M Mommy, what do you mean he couldn't talk? Mm. Um, they, they said he was struck by some kind of uh, ailment. Oh, it's not a good sign. It's a bad sign. It's a bad sign. What is not a good sign? Good day, man. Stop. Get hold of yourself and stop scaring them now. I am trying to do something. I'm trying to get hold of myself. Auntie, where they? What is going on? She's just feeling for the prince. That's what's going on. Yes. I'm feeling for this prince. Poor boy. Hey, Chogwo. Ah, Chogwo. It's not, it's, not it's, not. it's not a good sign. It's not a good sign. It's not. Hey! This is strange. Very strange. I suggest we take him to a specialist. I know a spiritual attack when I see one. This is not a specialist case. Then we should be wasting time here. Let's take him to the high priest at once. My queen, I hope you still realize that this man lying down here is the next king of this community. <laughs> my brother is loved by all. It's not been up to a year since I lost my father. What is going on? Let's move him at once. Yes. What happened? Harome. What happened? What, what happened to my husband? What is this? Huh? What did my husband? What happened to my husband? Please talk to me. I don't know. Harome. Malia, you're heavy with the child. Huh? Due for delivery anytime from now. Please. 
take it easy, okay? What happened, Ojima? Eh? I don't know. What happened?
Baby, you did it. You did a baby boy. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you. At least all is not lost. Darling, you did it. A baby boy. Oh my God. Oh, what is that, man? Don't do this, please. Oh my God. Yeah, I bring it. Yeah, I bring it. 